Welcome, everyone. Hey. Happy Starfield Early Access Day. Mm -hmm. I did not know that the copy of this game that we had was Early Access until I opened it up, and, 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 and I have to. We have to. I literally couldn't not. We must. I must. Uh, we are going to be doing a bonus stream of this game on its uh, official release day. Its public release day is September uh, 6th, uh -huh. uh, which is going to be a Wednesday, and the team at Bethesda... Starfield and AMD Red Team have hooked us up with an incredible prize that I'm not allowed to tell you about yet, but I am allowed to tell you that there's an incredible prize coming on Wednesday, so we're going to be doing a bonus stream then, but I just couldn't wait. I want to play some Starfield, so we're going to do a bonus stream. Yeah, a, a, a prize, Ron F, and like a real gamery gamer prize, like, mm -hmm. an, like an overkill cool prize. Uh -huh. Um, thank you all for joining us. This is fantastic. Uh, yes. I appreciate you joining in. And Mods, thanks for jumping in uh, <laughs> for the very last minute. Kind of a notification thing. And Oz. Hey, Oz. Oz, 1994, <laughs> gifting out them subs. Thank, thank you. you. We offer you a hug. Oz is helping everybody work towards a goal. So the way we're going to do this bonus stream thing, we're trying out something new around here, uh, which has been working, to help us determine the hype level for something. Uh, we're going to stream for an hour to check out the game. And should we cross over 50 subs, and it's already at eight, uh -huh. uh, 50 new subs on the stream will add an hour. And uh, today, we're going to not have a cap on that, and we'll see how it goes. So we'll we may, see how it goes. We may keep adding an hour each time as we go along. A uh, big thank you to those of you who are supporting our stream. Ooh, uh, <laughs> evil doer. Evil doer. Welcome Dean, back. Welcome back for a whole year. Thank you so much. Oh, yo, Whoa. and River Pierce. River Pierce. River Pierce. You know what's in a, you know what's in a river sometimes? A fish. A fish. River Pierce, behold this fish you have summoned. This is Dewey. He's a void fish. He also prefers <laughs> Latin music. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, I absolutely am very, very grateful for you being here. And if you got to give stuff from River Pierce, please be sure to thank them and check out the starter kit. This is going to show you the way around the channel. Thank you. Uh, literal Laurel Lime, thank you so much uh, <laughs> for the gifted sub. And uh, Ewabot. Ewabot, welcome back for four months. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my friends. Um, I'm curious, has anybody played any Starfield yet or watched or seen any, anything? any streams? I saw Co Carnage is streaming it going for 100%, and the dude's like, he's deep in. So if and you it just released for early access. It yesterday. just released. So if you want that real deep 100% playthrough, I can't recommend Co Carnage. Tons enough. of it? Oh, um, Evil Doer is in. Okay. Evil Doer, you're in, huh? <laughs> I love that about you. I mean, I saw some people had like 48 hours in the game, and the game's been out for 48 hours. So, I know, I know. Uh, that is nuts. Uh, um, what is our graphics card? I can tell you. It's a it's an RT 7900 XTX. And it's an AMD one. It's pretty good. Actually, that's the old one mm -hmm. over there. The 6900 or something. Nice. Hey, now uh, Hello. Ransom note. Whoa. Whoa. Ransom note with the 10 gifted subs. I said what? I said what the duck? Look at these Thank six you. ducks. <laughs> these are six ducks. None of them deviant. They all move in perfect harmony. And if any of these ducks step out of line, be sure to let us know because that would be a deviant <laughs> Amelia, something's a wrong with your duck. duck. Don't, don't mind something's my Something's wrong duck. with your duck. Why is all the other ducks are moving per perfectly in my harmony? My duck can do what it wants to do. Okay, well, yeah. Amelia, you talk to that duck, and we'll see if we can get him some <laughs> Neko Tiger, snacks. thank you so much for the gifts of group hug. Thank you, Neko Tiger. Neko Tiger, you're bright like a diamond. Grab a diamond, everyone. Please grab one. They're genuine. Those are actual diamonds, not an overlay. That's, that's not a transparent background overlay. Grab those diamonds. They're real. I love you all. Thank you for spending time. Yes, more gifted subs coming in. Thank you, Footballistic, for using your prime. Holy waffle! Wow! Holy, Holy waffle. waffle! Oh! Waffle 2038. What the? What? what? Hold on, hold on. Fire. Summon fire for waffle. Don't burn the waffle. Hold on, I have another thing. Don't burn the waffle, because that would be sad. That's 50 subs will make me explode with hype. Watch this. <laughs> I don't really think this one has a sound effect that just I, I, I disappeared into the hype. Thank you, Waffle, uh, for the fantastic hype. OK, well, so I think we should get into let's this. get into it. It yeah. looks like we're going to be streaming for at least two, two hours. hours. Good work, team. Uh, and if we cross over, uh, if we cross over 100, I guess. Holy cow. All right. So should I put that it's every 50 subs or is that just understood? I'll put it here just to clarify. Oh, um, I hear I hear like speaking. Oh, I hear like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes? 
Uh, Brooklyn <laughs> is honking. Thanks for being here and subscribing. Welcome, Brooklyn. <laughs> and can it be real? It can. It Welcome can be real. 36 months. You can always be real with us, friend. <laughs> thank you for being real. Let's jump in. I want in there. August G, welcome, and thank you for using your Prime Gaming sub. And the Starbuck86, thanks for being here for 18. I see Mira SS for the gift sub to Error. Thank you for being here, lovely. Thank you for the cheers. I'm going in the box. All right. <laughs> okay. For those, Misawa! Whoa! Yo, my friend Misawa with the 20 Misawa, gifted subs. hello! Team, we are committed. That is, <laughs> that... Does that mean we're streaming for three hours at least? Holy cow. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, friends. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get some, let's get a little of this. But thank Misawa, you, Misawa. Appreciate that. Thank you for your love and support. Appreciate you joining thank us. Thank you. Juice Thief back for 14 months. I don't know about any of you, but I've always dreamed of going to space. But the reality is I'm it's a little expensive. afraid. <laughs> it's too expensive. We were going to go, but we couldn't get tickets. Uh, long story short, um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, let me switch this over, there we go. Um, I'm pretty sure, holy cow, that's a lot of love, thank we're, you friends. We're playing this on our AMD PC. Yes, uh, AMD Red Team, uh, hooked us up with a gorgeous PC. And it's great. But I've always wanted to go to space and I've never really wanted to go to space, you know what I mean? Like, I'm really curious about going to space, but if they were like, get in there, I'd be like, nah. All right, well first, welcome to Starfield. It means the world to us to have you exploring our brand new universe. From all of us at Bethesda Game Studios, thank you so much for playing and all your support. We can't wait to see what you discover. I want to discover the various flora and fauna of the planets, <laughs> all thousand of them. I want to shout out to Mr. Debo, Mr. Debo, the Mr. realist. Mr. Debo! Around here for 50,000 years. Wow, 64 months. 64 months to the stars with love. Back to Aww. you, Mr. Debo. And Doctor Who is around here. Thank you, friends. Welcome 51 back, 51 months. 51 months, Doctor. Shorty Start a Vinzi's new game. back for 42. Rachel Powell's back for three. Oh, does anyone else feel some way? Just, uh, let's go. Start a let's new fly. Game. New game. Who it this? Is. Bethesda Game Studios. Amidala! Welcome back for 61 months, Amidala! Thank you, Ami. Soul date, May 7th. Two, three, three, zero. Wow, 23,030? Argos extracting mining outpost. It's so dark. It's dark. Dusty as hell in here. Wow. Seals are okay. good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time and you'll find. Follow my one simple rule. Hella. What's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Star Dock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just... No more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> now. One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Here we are. Let's see what we've got. 
How are we on time? Uh, a little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, uh. Dusty. Keep your breathing steady. And never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. This is you know what beautiful. I love about working in freestyle collective space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. Dreams of red tape. This individual is busy. Team, how do we feel right now? Uh, uh this space. This one over here. Calvert! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the graphics are unreal. It looks like we're looking at a, like, I mean, I feel like I'm there, like, yeah. obviously, is the way to put it. Yeah. Uh, very, very cool. Very impressive. For those of you just joining, the game has only begun, so... It is called uh, Starfield, and it is an epic space adventure. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposit... Grab a cutter and mine what we can? Let me I'll do it. I need you. Get the cutter. All right, I'm going to get this cutter. Get the cutter. Press right trigger to fire the cutter. Don't do that. Ooh! Don't do it at her. I would never. Supervisor... Uh, I'm just gonna do a little mining over here by these, by these folks. You gotta go to that spot. Deposits. Oh yeah, I see oh, some. Look at these stalactites. Excuse me, I just gotta get some of these deposits. That's satisfying. Ooh, burial, 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 burial. All right, question for all of you: um, Would you? Go into a mine to mine with a laser. Uh, yes or no? I would go into the mine if the mine was mine. So, I wouldn't want to work in someone else's mine, though. A few more digs to go this is someone else's mine. No, 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 no. If they have good insurance. <laughs> yeah, as long as I work as cop, I'm into yeah, it. Yeah. You're claustrophobic, so no. Yeah, I'm claustrophobic, too. Get back up here. Collect all the mineral deposits. I got to go back to Supervisor Lynn. Uh, Lynn, I love this, and I will work in your mind every day. You're with me. Okay. All right. Keep rolling. Minecraft is good enough for some of you. All right. Fair enough. Hey, metal pizza. One, two, three. Welcome back for two months. Whoa. Gamers yearn for mines, they say. The gamers want to be in the mines. Whoa. Look at that! Yo, hype train level seven? Team, good work. Thank you, thank you. Look at the just like uh, is, it, is anybody else yeah. tempted to go really close to that thing? You would not. Let's go. I'll turn the volume down just a tiny bit. Pixels, X, Hello. thanks for being here for 20 reading. months. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. Yo, this is this is next level, team. I, I, I think I think we're in the future now. I'm nervous for you all. The future of gaming is here. I'm nervous. Keep moving. We're getting close. I just want to tell you I'm nervous. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. <laughs> uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? 
Both yeah, what? You, do your what, what? Jobs. you guys. Is on his way. Hey, don't look at me. I've done my part. I'm new here. Exactly. Why do I go? Uh, you guys, I'm feeling. You guys, I feel kind of. Watch where you're going. Dispensable. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, um, supervisor, land. Go towards the the marker. Supervisor, I'm down in a, I'm down in a hole. God. I don't want to die down here, but I I do think I will. Supervisor, I walked off the edge. You were looking the I don't, wrong way. I was looking the wrong way. I don't have Never any. Never look the wrong way when you're in a mine. I don't have any rocket thruster or anything, do I? Uh, I, I'll be right back up there in just a few minutes. Do we have a light? I don't know. I can just push various buttons and see what happens. No, we have no light. I got a little bit of a jump with uh, with my Y button there. Oh, there you go. There you go. Left bumper right. is light. Steady. Oh, oh. thank you. Okay, wow. all those pro tips like that. Oh, here we go. Now it's telling me left bumpers to turn the flashlight on and off. <laughs> hey, Purple B, welcome back for three months. And Lizzie Bear is welcome to be here for eight. Just a little extra mining in case. What does this mean? Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Weird gravity, thank you. Go for weird gravity. Do you see anything? Yes. Uh, I see a lot of twinkles. Some kind of crystal or something. Definitely a mineral deposit of some kind. Uh, everything's floating in here, team. Uh, and I don't mean the normal kinds. Take this. I got some. Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? I like us. I like us too. Oh, here's a big question. What is our background? Ooh. This is gonna be very important. Oh. There's so many. Wow. Xenobiologist, that's kind of what you were talking that's about. That's what I wanna be So let's just read through, cause I'm standing on top of, of all of it right now, you can't see. So we can all either right, be ballist. a beast hunter, which gives us fitness, Ballistics means we're good with the guns and gastronomy, so we oh, have access cooking. to brand new worlds. Meaning, uh, means access to brand new ingredients, so we're great cookers. Great cookers. A bouncer has boxing, security, and fitness. A bounty hunter has piloting, targeting control systems, and boost pack training. Oh, how am I not gonna pick bounty hunter? A chef has gastronomy, dueling, and scavenging. A combat medic, pistol certification, medicine, and wellness. A cyber runner has stealth, security, and theft. Ooh. Cybernetics has medicine, security, and lasers. A diplomat has persuasion, commerce, and wellness. An explorer has lasers, Astrodynamics, meaning it takes, so basically you're like super advanced with technology um, and surveying. So you know things about aliens. How about a gangster? Are you a gangster? Do you need a shotgun certification, boxing and theft? A homesteader, geology, so you know about minerals and stuff. Surveying, so you got access and weightlifting, you're strong. An industrialist. 
Persuasion, security, and research methods. Long hauler, weightlifting, piloting, and ballistic weapon system. A pilgrim, scavenging, surveying, and gastronomy. Professor, astrodynamics, geology, and research methods. Okay, a ronin, dueling, stealth, and scavenging. Sculptor, medicine, geology, persuasion. A sculptor, huh? A soldier has fitness, ballistics, and boost pack training. Space scoundrel. Ooh. Pistol certification, piloting, and persuasion. Now we've got the xenobiologist, which is kind of what I was thinking about early on. Lasers, surveying, and fitness. And file not found means they don't know, but witness, uh, wellness, ballistics, and piloting. So we're going to pull every single one of them. How about this? Of all of those badges that stand out to you as important, what are the what are the zones, the starting skills that you think are the most important? All right, I'm seeing uh, love for explorer, Ronin, ones that have stealth, theft, okay. persuasion, medicine, stealth, chef, scavenging, explorer, persuasion, health, explorer, scoundrel, piloting, surveying. Cyber something. <laughs> Weapons based stealth. Stealth pilgrim file not found. Homesteader Island. is appealing. I just, I, I want my own planet. I just want to have a planet where I just like plant things that I had found from other planets and then I grow them and, and sample them and sell them at the farmer's market. That's my. I want to be a space farmer's market. I want Stardew in space. Um, maybe. I mean, the the combat medic has a lot of good stuff. Um, I think that Stardew in space sounds like it's appealing for many. Pistol medicine and a wellness. I just know we got so many like animal lovers and plant lovers and stuff that the xenobiologist stands out to me. The settled systems is home to untold alien species. And while none of them have yet proven sentient, that never deterred you. You So you sought out and studied them for whatever gifts they offered. Lasers. A personal laser weapon is a widespread use across the settled systems and specialized training can greatly increase their effectiveness. Surveying. Humanity now has access to untold alien worlds and the ability to decipher all the data while on the ground uh, has become... Oh, deciphering data while on the ground has become an essential skill set. And then fitness. In space, the greatest commodity is oxygen and increased lung capacity gained by regular physical fitness regimens essential to survive. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Amelia, let's do a little poll. I have some, I have some opinions, but I, wanted, I want to see what everybody else thinks. Uh, which, if you were going to pick one of these, would you put on there? I would probably put medic. That medic. Combat medic? Mm-hmm. Pistol certification is the same for both of them, but this one has medicine and wellness. Or a cyber, what's cyber runner? Um, I think a cyber runner is like, kind of like a smuggler. That sounds kind of fun. Oh, from Neon to New Atlantis, the megacorps stand out as monuments to power, prestige, and profit. You've worked both for and against them on the inside and the out, often sacrificing conscious for credits. Hmm. So kind of like a space mobster a little bit. I think a Ronin also sounds fun. And a bounty hunter, seeing lots of love for that. Yeah, the bounty hunter... It'll be hard to say no to that. Let me see the Ronin. Dueling, stealth, and scavenging. I'm just not that stealthy a dude. I just don't know if I can do 200 hours of stealthing. You know? that's He that's, is not good at stealthing. Eh, not that he's not good at it. He just literally doesn't want to do it. <laughs> because he's so not good Water at it. Water buffalo. Yeah. All right, let's try it like this. Um, here, I'm going to move this pole Well, around. don't put the one that you don't want to do. So no, I'm not, a, gonna, I'm not going to necessarily do whatever you say. I'm just curious what you all would pick. Hey, Between lady, these ones. Lady Madness, welcome back for 15 months. It's great to see you. Welcome, welcome. 
All right, this is the combat medic, combat medic, pistol certification, medicine and wellness. Cyber runner is stealth, security and theft. My xenobiologist, and you all know me too well, lasers, surveying and fitness. I mean, personal laser weapons are widespread used across the settlement systems. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, then we got the bounty hunter, which is also difficult to say no to a bounty hunter. Piloting, targeting control systems and boost pack training. My guess is of the parts of this game, Amelia is going to enjoy first person on a planet more than first person flying a spaceship. I, I don't. So I think piloting is not going to be Amelia's zone. Uh, and then here's the Ronin was the other one. Dueling, stealth and scavenging. All right. If anybody else would like to participate, now is your time to do it. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna you're all gonna humor me and come along for the xenobiologist route. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Finish Select. The ball. Let's go study them animals of space. Now we need three traits. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so these are the different things that we can choose from. We can have alien DNA. You volunteered for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen. But Space Witcher? But healing oh. and food items aren't as effective. Mm. Dream home. Mm. You own an, a, a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage with Gal Bank that no. has to be paid weekly. I'm not taking a mortgage. You, no, you. starting off with debt, not into it. I mean, that's a nice house. I'm sure it's a nice house, but I don't, I don't need that life. Empath, uh -oh. you are deeply connected to the feelings of others. Performing actions your companions likes will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness. But performing actions they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. Ah, that's interesting. We got a lot of empaths here. I feel like that one might stick. How about extrovert? You're a people person. Exerting yourself uses less, less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when adventuring alone. Can't be combined with an introvert. So you can't be introverted and extroverted. Valid, that's fine, for, for being one of your main three traits. <clears throat> How about a free star collective settler? You gain access to a special free star collective dialogue option and better rewards from some missions given by the faction. But crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Can't be combined with the faction allegiance trait. Okay, so this is our picking our camp, you know. Mm. Hero worshipped. You've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly. On the plus side, he'll join you on your ship's crew and give you gifts. Uh, Interesting. Don't know that I hate that. <laughs> Introvert. You really uh, need your alone time. Uh, exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone, but when you're adventuring with other human com companions, it takes more. Huh. What's well, kid stuff? Kid stuff? Kid stuff. Your parents are alive and well, and you can visit them in their home, but you will automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. So you're taking care of your parents. I mean, That's I think nice. taking care of your parents is a great thing to do, but mm -hmm. uh, compared with being uh, worshipped as a hero, I don't know if that one's going to hold me up. We, <laughs> you're like, we don't, 2% 2 pl two plus, plus a mortgage, a mortgage. Yeah, yeah. we're never going to survive this adventure. <laughs> Neon Street Rat. You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards from some missions on Neon. Crime, crime bounty is one other oh. faction that is greatly increased. All right, so we can't have a different faction allegiance, but Neon, Street Rat, Riff Raff, I don't buy that. I like that. I want that. 
Okay, raised enlightened. You group a member of the enlightened. You gain access to a special chest of items in the house of the enlightened in New Atlantis. Ooh. Uh, but lose access to the Sanctum Universum chest. Can't be combined with any other religion trait. Ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Do we, do we have business on New Atlantis? I don't know. Well, we'll probably have business everywhere. I hope so. Raised Universal. You grew up as a member of the Sanctum Universum. You gain access to a special chest full of items in the Sanctum Universum in New Atlantis, but lose access to the House of the Enlightened chest. Okay, mm. all right. Well, I don't feel like I know enough about these things yet, but I can see how on a second playthrough you'd be like, oh, I really got to have this or that. Yeah. Serpents embrace. You grew up worshiping the great serpent. Grave, jumpi grave jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen. Grav jumping. Like gravity, ah. not grave jumping. We're not grave jumping. We could jump into no, graves. No, if anybody started jumping in a grave, stop, stop. We're <laughs> taking it back. But <laughs> grav jumping, if you grav jump or grave jump, but grav jump. I said no grave jumping today. Health and oxygen <laughs> are lowered if you don't continue to jump regularly. It's like an addiction. I don't want to be addicted to jumping. No, we don't want to be addicted to jumping. <laughs> Spaced. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased in space, but decreased when on surface. Interesting. Mm. So you're doing it. Yeah, go for it, Flappy. I believe you. Uh, taskmaster. Occasionally, if you have crew trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it is damaged below 50. However, all crew costs twice as much to hire. Oh. Terra firma. You've never acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when you're on the surface, but decreased when you're in space. So the opposite of space. Do we want to be ground savvy or space savvy? Well. Uh, and last two. United Colonies native. You gain special access to United Colonies dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by the faction. However, crime bounty by other factions is greatly increased. And wanted. Someone put a price on your head and word has spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up and try and kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. Huh. Ooh. Huh. All right. I definitely think that a uh, street rat sounds fun. All right. We'll put a street rat on there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> From Neon. Uh-huh. Um, I see. So it crosses off these other two. Do we really want some random adoring jabbering fan? As long as it's not Pai Mei. <laughs> uh, and the empath. I saw the empath was having a lot of love. We yeah. have deeply connected to the feelings of others. And extroverted. I'm seeing lots of love for the hero worship. Okay. I mean, how do we feel? Yeah. Neon hero worshipped and empath? Is this perfect? I think this is perfect. I don't want to start with a mortgage team. I'm a, I will be a space renter, okay? <sighs> Where I'd we'll rather just, be a street rat. We'll just live where we live when the time is right. Um, did we pick our eye color? I don't really know. I think we just kind of had that those eyes. Let's see. Face... No, he didn't, but it's, I guess it's probably one of these. Those are shape blends. Uh, um, can we scroll down anymore with that? Yeah, there oh, we go. here we go. All right, all right. I'm gonna move my cameras around a little bit. I bet the HUD will be a little more consistent once we get out of uh, character creation. Change the eye color. Yeah, let's change the eye color. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Yeah, but it's like Witcher eyes. I'm kind of afraid. Wow. Space eyes? Silver eyes? The yellow eyes? I like the yellow eyes. I like the silver and the blue and that light color. I think the yeah, the copper ones kind of creep me out a little bit. Much. How about these ones? 
Yeah, that looks good. Is that cool? I just kind of like the combination. Mm -hmm. All right, our eyebrows are hidden by our our fancy mullet. Yeah. So this is kind of an a not point. as important. No. Um. Oh, I think those are cute. Yeah. I like. Yeah, that's good. Dark eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Eyebrow color. Forehead? I think our forehead's Forehead's hidden. completely irrelevant under these circumstances. Look at it wiggle. Hey, Miss Kavia, welcome back for 16 months. And Kiara Jewel, thanks for being here and for the gifted sub to LL Green. Thank you. Hey, car maid, how you doing? Welcome back for four months. And Kiara Jewel, thank you so much for subscribing, welcome. I think the nose we were born with is fine. I like the nose we were born with, yeah. We can't see our ears. Ears? Which ears do you like, Dean? This ear is that ears? All right, we're gonna leave those ears out of it. Cheeks. Yeah, I like you that. get a little bit like our Shep with the super high cheekbones. Mm -hmm. Oh, many a mouth. So sad. I like if it has a little smile. I think the mouth we were born with this is the nice. mouth we were born with, right? Yeah. Let's take the mouth we were born with. How about the... Oh, no. We need to brush our teeth. Yeah. Make sure you floss. Jaw? You know, choosing this mullet really sped up the rest of the process. Yeah. That's nice. Amy is chill. Welcome back for 22 months. So many chins. A fine chin. It's a fine chin. I'm not too worried about the chin. I want what I want is the beard. Bunch of necks. Never even really thought about that. I don't really care. Um, maybe that's a fine that's neck. That's a fine neck. Seems like as long as, long as, long as your neck holds oh. your head up, you're all right. Oh, uh, jewelry. Can't see any of it. Oh, we might get like a nose ring or something. Oh. Oh. I like that. What do you think, team? Can we do some nose piercings? Yes for the nose ring, because we can't really show off any of our other... Oh. Oh my god. It's pretty metal. I don't think I can handle that. Cheek piercing? Those are all later. Okay, do we like a single stud, or do you prefer... Double studs or septum? I'm going to say one or the other. I'm not doing double studs. Okay. We'll set off the metal detectors. So septum or single stud? Yeah, I like this one. Single, uh, that's very split. Let's pull it. Yeah. This is important. This is important. We don't want to go off with the wrong jewelry. No, no. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm going to call... Um, Single stud or septum, is that what yeah. it's called? Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the single stud. Mm -hmm. We can debate which side later. Uh, or uh, the septum piercing in the middle. And I think I would go for this one. Mm -hmm. Or do you like the full ring? No, I, I think that, that one's fine. This is cute. Yeah. All right, friends, let me know. This is a big one. I know. Very important. Very important decision. More important than what traits we have. More important than what skills we start with. <laughs> we need we need to have the right piercings. Mm. It's pretty close, but it looks like it's going to be the septum. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think this is better than the spike. That's a little intense. This, the yeah, the spiky, spiky one. one's a little intense. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Septum wins. Final answer. Who here has a nose piercing? Yeah, shout out. And what oh. kind? Oh, we could change the color. Fun. Is blue too on brand though? Like, we don't want people to be like, oh, come here comes old teal face. <laughs> but it is. I don't know, maybe I want that. 
Oh, want that? It's it's pretty. Do you guys, do you like this or do you want the silver one? Blue or silver? I mean, silver's also kind of nice too. Silver's fine. Silver, silver, silver. Just, just grabbing a quick pull. Overall, it seems silver with a little bit of teal. All right, the people are choosing silver. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Simple. Simple, elegant. What? What? Dermesthetic? Oh, like, what's your skin like? Oh, cool. Oh. Different textures. Oh, wow, that's a lot, though. Sixty-four options. Oh, I liked our little freckles and stuff. We I were... like the freckles too. Who here has freckles? Shout out to my freckle friends. I got some freckles. Who's got a constellation on their face? I like the freckles. Lots of freckle friends. All right, I'm going back to the one we were born with. That's cute. I like that one. This one's a little more obvious, or? Nice. All right. Complexion color temperature. Wow. So, so it changes detailed. like the, the, the tones under our skin. Hi, Mishinra. Welcome back for nine months. That's a Twitch oh. baby for you. Raise it up right. Teach it to vote. Teach it to vote. Ah, uh, saying it. your streams help me a lot, especially the good mammal streams. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for, for being our friend. Glad that, glad you like hanging out because we like hanging out with you too. <laughs> this is really cool. Ooh. Looks like we drank something bad. In. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Or more like. Oh my gosh, so many options. I like that. Uh -huh. Does anybody have a real freckly face like this? I always think that's so photogenic. You like it? Should we... Less or more? Scar time! Oh god! Joker scars? That's awful. Ooh. Honestly, as soon as you put this big scar on there, it, it changes out the, um, uh, it changes what the, the mullet means, yeah. you know? Like, this feels like we're disguising some of our burn. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm feeling more for a scar and less for a burn, because honestly, when I get burned, that's just like, I hate that. That's a cool one. Yeah, that's a cool one. Didn't, didn't sh our shepherd have an eye scar or something? All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go for the lightning one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Y'all are down for the lightning star? Mm -hmm. I'm down for this lightning scar. Third number thirteen, it is. Facial forms. Uh -oh. I'm gonna go with the one we're born with because it makes mm -hmm. our scar more obvious. Tattoos now. Can't see those two with our hair. I don't 
don't know. I feel like the tattoo is going to disguise my scar. Yeah. I don't think you need the tattoo. But cool stuff. All right, we want to have a little color on our cheeks? Add a little sunlight on them? Yeah. That looks healthy. Mm hmm. All right, I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if we didn't skip anything else. We look cool. Yeah. Oh, this is how this works. So we can be more muscular or more lithe. Cool. Where do we want to be on this matrix? I want to be tough. Yeah. Be strong <clears throat> for adventure. Maybe like here? Yeah. That looks good. Looks awesome. All right. All right. We're all ready. We're empath hero worshipped neon street rat. I love it. I think we should take our five. Okay. What do y'all think? Should we, should we, uh, let's fire it up, but let's take a little five minute hydration break to give everyone a chance to, uh, how use long, a facility How or long were we working on that? An hour. Creation? Yeah, yeah. About. About an hour. Let's see. You cannot wait to meet our single fan. I know I'm excited. Too. <laughs> me I too. I wonder who they are. All right, hold on. Let's see. Let me check on this. Um, do, 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 do. This is, oh, wow. We've been going for an hour and a half. An hour and a half? Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Uh, an hour and 20 minutes. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, we're taking the hero worship trait. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Us. So that will give us the opportunity um, when uh, w we'll have one fan that will. You've earned the attention of an annoying adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly but on the in plus exchange side, for gifts he will join our ship's crew and give us gifts i love it i love it i love too. it i love it i love yeah. it i love it i love it i want to check in on our on our goal here let me see uh we are um where did it go is, goalless did, the goal is over because we beat it i guess so um, well, I may re I'll restart it, but we're going to stream it. We're going to stream, uh, it seems, until we start playing Overwatch, unless the people of the town demand we stay playing this one. Um, so let's uh, let's take five minutes as we do each hour. And Amelia, what are we up to with the rest of our weekend? On Saturday, we are playing Control. We just began it last week, and it is so good. On Sunday, we're playing Uncharted Drake's Fortune, and I think it might be the finale. On Tuesday, it's our Good Mammal stream, where we talk about being being a human and what it means. And That's it. Then Friday, Overwatch. She speaks the truth. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back in five minutes. Get yourself a snack. We'll see you in five. We're done. Time. We made it. No problem. Love the pizza ASMR. Yeah, we just were having a, just a little slice of Pritz. Just a little slice. Just a slice of Pritz. Just small. So just team, small. Uh, you all have shown a lot of love and support already for this uh, for this Starfield. Starfield early access. I'm curious what your input is generally. Uh, what do you expect? We're about to jump in. We're about to go. This is our character. The hero worshipped empath neon street rat. Love it. Uh huh. I love that for us. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's our one fan who brought us space pizza. It's a actually little, leftover pizza that we were like, we're gonna bring this pizza with us. A mm. little summary. Um, a weak diamond. We play as a space person, and we had a new job in the very beginning where we were uh, mining minerals down in a. Cool, but creepy mine. Yeah, down, down in the mines. And uh, we were asked to go look for a special item that was um, making uh, ha having some kind of anomalies around it. And right. then when we <sighs> started to mine it, we blacked out, and then we came into this character creation moment. Yeah. So. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That's all we've done so far. And then we spent the, the next hour creating our character. Yeah, so uh, if, you're, if you're curious uh, what's going on, so are we. Basically, mm -hmm, yeah. this is pretty, pretty A new. huge universe to explore. Yeah, I heard that there's a thousand different planets that we can explore, amazing. which is amazing. You're expecting some alien artifacts. 
um, some fun companions. All right, I like that, I like that. Um, well, let's start it up. I mean, we've got a character. Let's fire off. All right. Let's go in, mm -hmm. shall we? A thousand, yes. A thousand. Mm -hmm. This is a huge game. Ah, we can have a name. What's in a name? Let's name the character. Oh, okay. What should we name ourselves? And what are our pronouns? All right. I think we're they, them, given our, given how, oh no. Still can't no, I'm not named player. I can't be named player. Oh. How do I edit that? I don't know. No! My name is Player? Player? Yeah. Maybe we can change it later. Oh, no. Yo, what's up, Player? All right. You know All what? Right. Our name's Player. Yeah, Let's we're go. Player. We're, we're player. player. We always are named Player. We put Young Player Smith. Damn. <laughs> Uh, at least we're not Traveler. Yeah. You know, greetings, Traveler. Player's kind of a cool name. Player's the coolest name we've ever had. We wanted that. We wanted that. I believe we have a genuine alien life researcher here. Figured you were scraping together credits after a bad lab accident or something. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I know I'm a player. Uh, don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, is what I mean to say. I mean, it was incredible. It was like a dream or a vision. Everything went black and you went into a tunnel. Or what is that thing? Uh, it was incredible. I'm going to be optimistic. All right, we can change the name later if we need to. I don't know. I might keep it. I kind of hey, like it now. I'm growing to say something. I'm oh, sorry. Um, Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. <coughs> all right, okay, so we can switch between first and third oh, person. That's pretty cool. We love that. Look at us. All right, I think we should keep it in third person so that way we can approach. see ourselves. Wait, speak of the player. The explorers group? <laughs> Thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. All right, equip a helmet. Always do. All right, so here's our menu. Select an area in the lower right to access your inventory. We're level one. We're babies. Right, the lower right. Um, Orion, we're playing on our AMD PC with an Xbox controller. Yep, yep, yep. And even it's Amelia's kind of galaxy looking Xbox mm -hmm. controller. That seems like a good Starfield controller, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, helms. Um, helmets. Yeah. We My look deep great. mining helmet. We look. Oh, see? See, people think we're all chill, you know? They're just some casual friend, but. With our helmet on, we mean serious business. Yeah. Apparel. What else do we have for apparel? Yeah. Um, it makes sense we're in our utility outfit, given yeah. the given what we're up to. And new items. Right. This is what we were mining. Yeah. This burial burial. <laughs> Got a med pack. Love cool. it. Cool. I just can't believe this. 
This looks really good. Just run up and touch it? No, Brian. I mean, okay, do what you want to do. I want to meet with the client. Look at this. Maybe it's our fan. <laughs> our fan arrives on this? He's like, hey, player, I've always been a fan of you. Wow. Hey, Sonic Tones, welcome back for our welcome for the raid. Thank you for raiding us. Welcome, welcome. This is so cool. I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want! Welcome to Starfield! Just get sucked up in the head. <laughs> Yeah, you could call it that. I'm fine, nothing to talk about, or how would you know about that? How would you know about that? Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. <laughs> All right, a little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weirder space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? Oh, pirates are coming in. Everybody get ready. Holy shit, hold out the pirates. Alright, I can take a med down. Take it. These pirates? This is my first day on the job. I'm 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 new here. What's in there? I don't fight pirates that often. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here, pirates! This is our land! Whoa. Maybe it might be our land! I'm gonna melt this pirate! Oh my god! Ah! I'm taking your shit! No, I'm the pirate! Oh! 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 Any more pirates? Just a few more loots. Rescue axe. Get down! Okay. Med pack, med pack. How do I med pack? Look, pirates, I'm not I'm not usually mining pirates, but Nice Bry! Take him your shit. Give me I this. Mean player. Yeah, I'm player. Hey! Uh-oh. These pirates are surrounding us. Where are you? Oh my god, I'm I'm just I thought it was a I thought it was gonna be a xenobiologist. I didn't know about this. Oh my god, I'm on fire! Roll! Roll! Hold on. Hold the phone. Are you wearing a are, do you have a gun? No. Uh, no, I have a med pack, though. Yeah, use that. I'm gonna have that. Uh. I'll melt you! Uh. Oh, force lifted? What are these little signs all around? Uh, I think we never picked up our gun. Never picked up our gun? No, it was over there. Run! To the gun! Yeah. That's it. Oh! There we go. Here we go. Awesome! Um, but how do I equip it? Here. Oh, good! You're still alive! 
Hold that thought. Uh, Eon? Maelstrom? Or the rescue axe is what I picked up. Eon. Yeah. Here we go. Damn. Much better. All right. Whatever the hell I was laser mining them before. Yeah. I mean, it worked as well. Always gotta get the loot, right, babe? Got it, got it. I think there's still one more. No, that's our friend. You guys, I did it. I did it. I, I know you said I was only good for mining, but I also did murders. Every time. That was some fine work on the pressure. You Ooh. stuck up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Um, if you can tell me what this artifact is... I'm in? If you'll take me off this damn moon, sign me up. Oh, wait, I didn't ask for any of this. What is Constellation anyway? What is Constellation? Yeah, what is Constellation anyway? You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. God, I love your voice, Barrett. All right, look, if you can tell me what it is, I'm in. Uh -huh. Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. <laughs> How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but they're not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as they touch that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Thanks for everything, Lynn. No way, not my job. What about the mine? Don't you need me? We don't want to live in a mine, do we, no, team? thanks for everything, Lynn. Yeah, we just became the protagonist right <laughs> quick. Thank you, Lynn, we're out. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get them to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Thank you. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? So many questions. <laughs> Why send me? Shouldn't you go? You're giving me your ship? Who are you? What's Constellation? What exactly did we dig up? Why was the Crimson Fleet after you? Hmm. You giving me your ship? <laughs> yeah, let's ask that. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Okay. Tell me about you. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. The explorers. What exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. Why was the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. <laughs> you and me both. All right, I'm in. Don't let them break my ship. Let's do it. We're still in one piece. Oh, Hello, Vasco. It appears you are the new captain of the Frontier. I love that. I love that for us. Well, then I guess I should, I should go on first. Yeah. I'm the captain now. This is my ship. This is our ship, everyone. <laughs> hey, Canned Connor, welcome back for seven months. Welcome Canned back, Canned. friend. 
I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Yeah! Hey, Barrett! Barrett's gone, right? It's yeah. just me now. What is this about? Barrett's personal slate. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. No fun? Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Can we name this ship and can it be Jericho? <laughs> Navigation console. So we can scan it for resources. Who's ready for Mass Effect? Feeling definite Mass Effect vibes. Argos Extractors Mining Output That's Explored. Yeah, so Vectera is where we started off. Or Starship Friendship. Ah, uh, good question. I like Starship Friendship. So this is, uh, this is no solar system I know. Ibala. Darna. So sit in the pilot seat. Yeah. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. This is all I've ever wanted. Finally become Han Solo in space. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. All right, I'm using the D-pad to select a ship system. Use up and down D-pad to allocate power. You can skip the ship tutorial by powering up all systems, including the, grad, gab, the grav drive. No, we're gonna take this tutorial real nice. All right, so here I am. Oh, okay, I see down in the bottom corner, the left corner there, see? Mm -hmm. um, and I can Each system add- on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Up and down on the D-pad. Right, so I can, I have to, if I subtract it from like the lasers? Sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge oh. that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to oh. center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its Got right. it. Okay, and then I can I can do a boost with jamming left stick. The boost can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. All right, that was way fast. Uh, I'm gonna pull some power out of the Let's engine and put it up in the laser. Shields. Shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. All right. Looks like our shields are all maxed out. 
Ooh, shooting lasers. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Power to the lasers! Yes! We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. Are you using your lasers? Yeah. How do I lock on it? If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a home missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Cool. Left trigger to fire the ballistic cannon. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before oh. we can oh God. access the remains. Is this close enough? All right, so we go closer and then we can loot them. Loot it. Got it. That everything? What do we got out of that deal? Mm -hmm. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. Press A to cycle between targets. menu and look at the star map team how do we feel that was cool all right so we're gonna find out about where these crimson dudes are um stashing their life so what do y'all think of the player character being mute not speaking yeah that's interesting yeah it is multiple sci-fi games in one I don't know. I mean, I don't mind it because I mean, I'm reading a lot of the things out loud uh -huh. anyway. Yeah. So it would I... just kind of be a little redundant to have them saying it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's me streaming it. I think if I was playing it on my own, I, I wouldn't be talking out loud, probably. Uh, toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest and expand the objectives. Set course button to automatically navigate. Yeah, I think what's cool about the um, them not having a, 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 a voice is that we can project our own idea of what they sound like. All right. Role play more, yeah. So I'm looking for this. All right, there's me.
this? Kruth? That's not where it was. Let me back out of this and see what it tells me to do again. Uh, hey, robot? Can you look at the missions? Missions here. Here we go. Crete. K R E E T. Crete. Crete. I want to go to Crete. To Crete! This other little moon? Yeah. yeah! Baby moon. Set course. Small moon. Travel to. X. Sorry, I'm I'm uh, pressing PlayStation buttons in my brain. I don't play on the con Xbox controller that much. We so we can set landing zone here. All right. We already have a destination set for this moon. Would you like to remove it? No. So we are traveling there. Uh, press and hold X to travel. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. All right, press options to open data menu. From there, you can open the star map. Planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view, then select the map icon to land there. Okay. And I'm gonna land there right now. Sweet. The Citadel, the set. Hey, Serum, how you doing? Thanks for the raid. Come, Come on, on in. in. We just played, start playing Starfield. And it's cool. Deal with the Crimson Fleet captain. Okay. I'm exiting this ship. Ooh. Interesting environment. I think it's really cool also that we can toggle between if we want it to be the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Yeah. If we want it to be in first person. Oh, we can also person. go further out too. So we can be in first person, close third person, or wide third Ooh, person. Ooh, that's cool. I think I like this one. Hey, Knighthood, welcome back for 17 months. Hey, Knighthood, welcome back. Wait, qu'est-ce que c'est? Are you a friend or a foe? We can try to befriend it and then see if it eats us. If you eat me, we're gonna shoot you. But it wants, it's, it's fine. It, All right. It has no quarrel with you, sir. As a xenobiologist, I'm leaving those alone. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often detected. Oh, your, your little friend is helping you. Yeah, we can scan it by pressing the left bumper. When we're taking its tissues. Take yeah, it. I'm gonna take its tissues. Thanks for your tissues. Thank you. Oh, hairy little bits. Yo, hey, Lacey. Lazy, thank you so much for the gifts of group hug. Thank you so much, Lacey. I have thank a button for you. that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate the purple smoke. Appreciate the gift sub love. If you got a gift sub from Lacey, please be sure to thank him and you can check out the starter kit. It'll show you the way around our channel. Uh, can you scan that thing with the left bumper? Like it I was- I did that, babe. Oh, I kept telling you to do it. The left bumper. Oh, scanned creatures, materials, and plants. Each unique item scanned progresses your survey data of the planet. Completed survey data can be sold for credits. Mm. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation. 
All right, so it's like Pokemon. We're Pokemon snapping. Um, should we scan this other little isopod, dude? Yeah. Excuse me, I need to scan you. Hello. I'm trying to scan everyone I can. You want to be scanned? Left bumpers. Trilobite. Hey, Trilobite. You know we have Trilobites on Earth. Can we be your friend? Don't go. Don't go on our ship. We don't have any room for any Trilobites on our adventure. All right. What is that? That's rot. Dust root. This root. So there's three types of flora, three types of fauna, and then other resources. What's this? Vasco's not worried about that. Hey, Ved Ted, welcome back for 32 months. Hey, Itsy Bitsy Batsy Spider, how you doing? Yo, Itsy Bitsy Batsy Spider's here, eh? Hey. Well, let me pause real quick because Itsy Bitsy Batsy Spider uh, has gifted a prize. <gasps> nice. Um, and I missed it on the other stream, so let me give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, 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 give it away now. Thank you, Itsy Bitsy now. Batsy Spider, with a message saying, uh, I challenged my, this is a, a, a mission complete celebration. They challenged themselves to do every single art prompt for this month and they did it. It was tough yes. and trying, but I'm so proud of myself for getting it done and making it to the end. May this wow. sticker be a reminder that even when uh, someone, uh, when, when it's tempting to quit or adjust the rules you've made, so the challenge can be easier. Success will be sweeter at the end if you push through. Mm. Thank you so much, Itsy Bitsy Batsy Spider. And if That's you'd like cool. to win, just type a thing in the chat. How do they enter, Amelia Rose? Uh, just type something into the chat. Our subscribers get five times entry. And if you gave a gifted sub like Maxito, then you are entered in 10 times. Hey. And this is our mission successful sticker. And uh, it is uh, designed by Eliza Frant, exclamation point, Eliza. In the chat, we'll get you to her art page. All right, I got a winner. Here we go. And the winner is Cherry underscore XD. Congratulations, Cherry. You've got yes. a whisper up here. Check out your whispers. Uh, make sure that you double check your address and we will get that shipped off to you at the start of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, big thank you, friends, for being here. Marvelous, marvelous, strange. And Misawa, thanks for the gifted sub to Waywolf Knight. Welcome, welcome. All right, we need to scan some more living creatures or dead creatures. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like the colored envelopes. They are totally random. Is this a research? I don't know. Research? No. Bosco. Hey, Bosco. I like how quick I can move. Location discovered. Crete <laughs> Research Lab. This shouldn't have any problems with us just walking to the front door, right? That thing. That's another dust root. But what's that? Hanging in the middle of the dust root. Yep. Dust root pod. Yeah, that's the whole thing. We already scanned that. Oh, here's something new. Iron. Can I have it? Oh, what if I want it? You take out your... Yeah. Nice! Take it, take it, take I'm it. I'm taking all this. A little bit of iron, a little bit of lead. Oh, we're ready for adventure. Like a periodic table here. All right, so that's three of eight. Silver. The crates are going Aww. to be a confederation of smaller, independent pirate crews. Hey, Waywolf Knight, please tell your dog Dexter that we say hello and give him a little scratch for us. Oh, pet, pet. All right, we're gonna get over encumbered with all this looting. 
Just uh, wait until they say, I can't carry anymore. I can't carry anymore. So much loot potential. I know, Magnolia, I know! Can we go inside? We can definitely go inside. I'm just, you know, exploring a tiny bit, make sure there's no creatures. Like, that's lead, that's more iron. Go ahead. Hi, Dexter. Hello. Uh, I see what's going on. This the, the scan thing is a toggle. That's what I was. streaming again on the 6th, which is Wednesday, um, and we can talk more about that question. Taking all your stuff and your sculptures. Secret base! Succulent! Oh! Let's be friends with it. Let's have it. I don't need that impact driver, though. That's too heavy. Med packs. Reload here real quick. Getting some vibes, team. Is it styrofoam? Because then we have to have a talk about uh, environmental impacts with these pirates. Yeah, pirates, you're not taking care. Oh, dead! Oh, dead. Oh, dead scientist. What happened to you? No book? Storage box? Coats, thank you for being here. Okay, that's a pirate out there. Mm -hmm. He's labeled as such. I have reason to believe we should get those pirates. Yeah. Do we go talk with them or do we go guns blazing? The, the options are. Do you have the right gun or do you have your- I got my only gun I ever had. Nice. Pirate? I don't think he wants to talk to you. You don't think he does? I mean, we can try. No, I'm just here to talk! do, baby. You know I do. You know I loot the bodies, babe. Take it, take it, take it! What about the other guy? I felt... I felt a little wrong. It did. Thank you! 
Thank you. Bye. Have a nice okay, day. Okay. Okay. Um, the next time we see any pirates, we're gonna try to talk to them. Okay. And see if they. Dig it. Why? Why not? Oh. See? They're trying to tell us something. Pickwick Papers. The right. posthumous papers of the Pickwick Club. Chapter 1, The Pickwickians. The first ray of light which illuminates the gloom and converts into a dazzling brilliancy that obscurity in which the earlier history of the public career of the immortal Pickwick would appear to be involved is derived from the pursual of the following entry in the transactions of the Pickwick Club, which the Pickwicks was like a name of a kind of unusual breaded cookie kind of thing my mom made when I was a kid. Pickwick. Uh, which the editor of these paper feels the highest pleasure in laying before his readers as proof of the careful attention indefatigable Oh, I love that oops, word. Indefatigable? Yeah. What does that mean? Indefatigable means like super like strong, like you're gonna power through, like you, uh, like yeah, that was the name of our eighth grade class. Indefatigable but indefatigable indefatigable mm -hmm. Assu assiduity and nice discrimination I with which fatigued. his search among the multifarious documents confided to him has been conducted wow that is I don't know what lot, this means except there words. is a club called the Pickwick Club Charles Dickens' first book about a man who establishes a society whose goal is to travel and research human life becomes a phenomenon that established the author as one of the best of his day. Whoa. Robot, you're never going to believe what I found in there, Vasco. <laughs> you're not even going to want to know. I'm not taking any foam cups. Going to the living quarters. Morphe? succulents boots look Fasco we, we take foods okay food stuffs and ammo and medicine lab one this is where <gasps> oh pirates all right team this is the last time we try to negotiate with pirates if these pirates shoot at us we shoot back Pretty confident. We can stealth it. The heck? Lock and load! <laughs> Lock and load is not what a friend would say. No. Level two. All right, all pirates gotta go. What are they looking at? In combat, there is a high No grenades? Not yet. Oh! Got him. 
It's cooked. These scientists are dead. The enemy has dropped out of our view. Let's do this. Peace is no longer a viable option. Vasco's doing murders. Yeah, grateful for Vasco. Listen up. Someone's trying to jump our school. Hold them off here while Brogan sets up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. Alright, so no, we don't want to use up our oxygen by, by sprinting too yeah. much. thing in the testing tube? No. Instead of Grendel, let's see what our. I think we might have another weapon here. Maelstrom is cool, but it only. Uh, and the rescue axe. I like in this gun. The rescue axe is if we want to swing it around. Mm. The Grendel. Look at that thing. Okay. Just curious what that was. I like this handgun right now. Do we just have some juice box? It did look like we had a juice box, didn't it? Uh. Where's our new items? I guess it went away. And food? Resources? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a uh, white wine juice box. Shall we enjoy? It, it's good for your health. Let's enjoy. Everyone, sip it. Can I, how do I consume? There we go. Oh, let's have some milk to go with it. <laughs> oh, nice. Mm. Huh? Save it for later. Save some room for later, Augustus. Augustus? Augustus. Mmm, white wine in space. Oh, shit. It's making us kind of drunk. Look. With power. I'm kind of queasy. Yeah, wine and milk would do that. Uh, too. I'm not going to drink wine and milk anymore. Every time I drink wine and milk, it goes weird. All right, this area is clear. Vasco, what do you make of this, dude? Got a little turned around. Up the stairs. Here. Over here. Uh -uh. Uh. Let's go. We got company. Um, the stairs that were behind us. Back the other way. Yeah. 
out, but there's guys in here. Yeah. Makes me believe this is the way. Can I go back up those stairs in there? Yeah. Does our suit regenerate the CO2 oxygen balance thing? Yes. Oh. Ooh, a digipick. Now we can go into that room. Yeah, now we can lo uh, open locked doors. So that locked door was downstairs. Yeah. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a uh, disregard for personal property oh. rights. Oh, what is that? Not my friend. It's a health stench, a health leech, a heat. Uh, let's, let's scan it. Let's scan the hell out of it. It's a heat leech. Oh, fun. Dead heat leech. Take the tissue. Yes, I, I can't. I... Transferred the heat leech. All right. So he's not one of the. Oh, photo mood. You want to photograph the heat leech? Good. Yeah, I don't need to, need to photograph that heat leech. Here's a safe. Cool. Did you pick linked safe? Novice security level. Fill in all open slots in every layer to unlock, to open the lock. Select the key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps of the security layer. Slot the key to fill the in the gaps. Each key can only be used once. All right. I mean, that gets us in, right? But I need, I need, do I need to go in all the ways? Like that one would work. No, that's not the one. That one wouldn't work. No. Neither would that. It's gotta be this first one. So I think we're going for that. Okay. And that looks, that looks reasonable. Now we continue. Oh, I got us through the first layer. Too wide set so I can undo by going back all right so I'm going layer by layer we can't go rotate this, this at all right no I'm going with this one and I'm going with this one mm -hmm. back right yeah. I don't think I can get in this way no not yet what do y'all think that? it's gonna cost me a lock pick to try this again this is not gonna go I think All right, I gotta hit undo. All right, I'm gonna waste the lockpick. Let's try that again. All right, we don't have any. Lock don't have any digi picks. Damn. All right, I'm gonna come back here. Maybe we, uh, the dead, the other dead scientists might have some stuff. All right, we're going, we're going dead, dead sign. Oh, look. Let's got one right here. Convenient. All right, so it looks like we're removing 
we gotta want to do th as many openings as we can per. Doesn't look like we rotate the rings at all. We just rotate the picks. There we go. There's three here. Do we have any, would any of the three, maybe this one, would that work? I think that gets us in. It's gotta be this one. Well, that's... This is hard. It is hard. I didn't know... We don't know what the the next thing was going to be. I want in that safe so bad okay. now. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. All right, we're gonna go find more lockpicks on dead scientists. Yeah. It's tricky because you don't know what the next ring is until it's revealed, which makes me feel like you gotta use all three of the, you know, if there's three prongs, you gotta use all of them. Hmm. Here's a scientist. a scientist. Just water on that scientist. Fuck like that scientist. Ah, uh, it's all the big blood schmears for me that are creeping me out a lot. Oh, Did you pick? Going. All right, do we use the digipick for the door? the door and then come back to the safe? Or do we want to learn on that? Um, learn on that one. You can see the next ring inside the outer one. Okay, so it's that yeah. basically we have to deduct before we. Come back to the safe, the door first. All right. We have to go downstairs, right? This is, this is the main here. floor. Yeah, that room. All right, get ready to lock pick it, team. Okay, so we can see that this second one has one, two, three, four, five, six different spots. Successful digipick. Yay! Mission successful. I'm gonna shoot that oxygen tank. No. Get that. Genetic sample bottle. Get that. Biohazardous waste. Another safe, no digipix. Okay. War, phase two, stalkers and heat leeches. Heat leeches we learned about. Today we're in trouble of heat leeches. 
Stalkers. Officially stop by. Stops work on the stalkers. Our focus is phase two. Phase two, it's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the stalkers have proven to be the exact weapons we'd hoped for. So it's time to expand our operations. Mast has become finally approved as the next stage of this facility's operation. Project, Project Pet Shop. We are at war. They're making weapons out of these creatures. Okay. Captain, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Uh-huh, so he got away. Mm -hmm. All right, just who are you and Barrett? What's Constellation? They're explorers, we know about that. Why is Barrett trusting me with his ship? Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos. So technically, you have known each other forever. But the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. All right, well, let's trade gear. I am relieved you have given up on carrying everything yourself. <laughs> All right, so we can let this bot carry for us or we can or can we sell it? What do we got? Carrying objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. All right, so he's like our loot box. We can have him hold on to stuff that we don't want to carry. All right, now we got two safes to worry about. We got into the door, but no. Did you picks? Here's a. You did? Do you have yeah. any digit picks you I don't have need? Two. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Stevie, 2393. Welcome back for 44 months. Welcome back, Stevie. Just a little safe. Some legal tender, just a just a simple credit. Three hundred and seventy-seven credits. This improves our fortitude and our pain tolerance. Heart plus, we'll take it. Okay, and a nice med pack. A nice med pack. Hey, false security! Welcome back for seven months. It's great to see you. Welcome back. I take this credit desk off the credit table. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, maybe let's go back upstairs. You want to get that top one too? My baby's thorough when it comes to loot. Go up the stairs. All right, now we're going to figure this out, no problem. All right, that'll get us in. wide set. Did I screw it all up? All right, what about this one? Yeah, I think you might have. They all, ha they all have to go in. Donk it. 
I really want the contents of that safe. I'm gonna run around until I pass out. Yeah, they did just release some more info on Evolutus. Yeah, they did. There was a little, a little tease. We could talk about that at the top of the hour, I think. Mm -hmm. In like 10 minutes. All right, what are we doing in this place? Is there a map we can pull up? That's our ship. Star map. As we know where we are, generally. I mean, maybe we just go back outside. Yeah, maybe we go back outside. All right, look, everybody, look alive for for data picks. Oh, I'm on the lockers. You can go in everything, babe. Everything. Take it. Earl Grey tea. Scientist. I already checked you. We looted all these scientists. Just want to be thorough. where we came in. Did you pick? Uh-oh. All right, team. I think I'm... Um, am I going for that... that locker? It seems really important to me, but it's also a lot of running back and forth. Go ahead. I can't screw it up this time. No. So it looks like they uh, got killed by something they were creating. Definitely got killed by something they were creating. Those stairs. Fourth time's a charm. Fourth time's a charm. All right, let's look ahead. So that could work. But then I need something like this. We got to plan ahead. Yeah. That would go in later. But then you'd still have two other spots open. So you'd need a, a double, a two like that. Which I think maybe that could be. There's no single one. I never had a single one. I know. All right. Well. We can't have the contents of this safe. We can't. We can't have it. We already took the digipick in front of that safe. We're out. We're gonna run around until we run out of oxygen again. See, this was where it came out. Look, it was in there. It's just too safe. Fasco, can you grab that safe and we'll just carry that out? I mean, I think I got a good idea of what we, the horrors we're up against in here. Let's explode the save. All right, I'm out of here. Coffee, anyone? Before we go? Good.
another safe with wow. a digit pick. My brain just can't really. Like, if I do this, mm -hmm. then this one could be good for over there. And then you'll still need another two. We'll have this, we'll have that. Thank you, safe. Oh. Sparkling waters? I don't need a dart. Good work, Fasco. We picked our first or second or third safe. Dumbbells. I'm not just carrying dumbbells around. Sure we looted everybody. That way. We're gonna have so many axes, you guys. Shit, we checked all this out though, didn't we? Didn't take that last time. Deep? I don't think I went in here last time. Going down. Yeah. Exit. your nutrients though. Mm. I'm show my missions. Unlock the safe. Deal with the Crimson Fleet Captain. Yeah, Memento, thank you so much. Axes are not body parts. That's true. Very true. So I guess we ought to get off to the next, the next uh, little settlement there. Let's save right quick because we're at the top of the hour. Yeah, let's do it. Just a save. Nice. Quick save. Uh, Game and Gains, we are playing on our AMD PC. We are with the Xbox controller connected. Team, how do we all feel? I'm into it. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that this is a game I'm going to get the hang of slowly over time. I like that I can switch to third person. Uh -huh. It does look very beautiful. You love it? This style is gorgeous. It is a beautiful, beautiful world that they've created, and we've only just started. We've only just begun. Uh, is it worth getting an Xbox for? You know, actually, we did get an Xbox for expressly this purpose, mm -hmm. and now we're playing it on the PC. Yeah. So if you have a gaming PC, I, I, you could just do that. Um, yeah, but it's available on PC and, and Xbox. Indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, lovely 22, hey, thank you for the 10 gifted lovely subs. Lovely 22, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you got one of those 10 gifted subs from lovely 22, please be sure to thank them. And Lula the Lunatic, yes. welcome back for nine months. That's a Twitch thank baby you, for you. Thank you, thank you, Raise it up right. Teach it to Teach vote. Teach it to vote. So big thank you to everybody who supported our stream. Look at this, we've crossed over 152 subs on the stream and we've nice. done a, a bonus stream so long that we've arrived at 
Overwatch when we, when time. When we usually stream. So when we usually stream. So now we're connecting the bonus stream to a usual stream. Um, can I ask you, friends, should we do a little poll yeah. uh, to determine Overwatch or more Starfield? I'll leave mm -hmm. it up to you, uh, to those of you who have joined us. Uh, shall we? More Starfield or Overwatch? Whoa, Misawa! Two. Thank you Misawa. so much! Yo, Misawa! Thank you for the 27th! Thank you, 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 big hug and thank much love! Thank you so much! Thank you for the support. Uh, thank you, my friends. Uh, let me know. Um, type it in chat. I'm going to put a poll up here right now. Uh, uh, if you got one of those gifted subs from Misawa or Lovely22, please be sure to thank them. And you can check out our starter kit that Wablu, this Wablu, just wonderfully put into the chat right there. Thank you, Wablu. Uh, you can learn how to get around our Twitch channel. Um, come to our Discord. It's a great place to be. Do it, do uh, it, do it. And now let us know what you would like us to do. Um, should we do more Starfield? Mm. Or transition into Overwatch, where we play with our subscribers? <sighs> yeah, we were originally scheduled for uh, an Overwatch stream today. But if the hype is strong for this, we'll keep it going. Um, I'm going to take a five minute hydration break and we'll leave the poll up. Y'all okay. can participate in that as we go. And we'll see you on the other side in five. Thank you for hanging out. We'll be right back. Everyone. All right. Uh, last call for anybody who wants to try to swing this poll. Uh, <laughs> but it looks like we're going to be playing some more Starfield. OMG, it's Olivia. What? OMG, it's Olivia. What? Yo. Thank you. Yo. There's a button Thank for that. You. Right here. Yo. There Yo. It is. Olivia, Thank appreciate you, the Olivia. Hug. What have you done? Thank you so much. Uh, I'm glad you can hang out with us today. Hello and welcome. I see some new friends here. Is anybody else here for the first time? Yeah. Shout yourself out. Welcome aboard. Let us know if you are joining us for the first time. Thank you for being here. Oh, I love it's it. not Nick's birthday. Hello. Hello. And happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I hope that your year is overflowing with all the things that make you happiest. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Mm -hmm. And Ilar Ravenstar, welcome and thank you for the gift sub. Hello. Thank hey, you Kiki, so much. How you doing? Hello. Yeah, uh, we have what's called the pr it's a premium digital edition or something. It's mm. not the collector. There's no, we don't have any physical collector's items, uh, but it's, uh, it is early access still. T TK71 is here for the first time. Nice. Hey, TK. Mr. Longmire, too, is here for the first time. Good Hello. to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Flash Viper is also here for the first time. Beautiful, beautiful. Hello. Well, well thank you all so much for joining us. I really we're, appreciate um, you turning in. We're playing Starfield, and we are currently looking for the pirate captain on an island, on a moon called Keef. Keef? <laughs> Crete. Crete. Crete, not Keef. Not Keef at all. <laughs> Frosty Ozzy, welcome back for, oh, it's your first stream and 12 months at the same time. Um, oh, welcome back, Frosty. What's, what's Keith doing in Starfield? Keith, hey, Zombo, thank you so much for asking about the Grand Prismatic. The Grand Prismatic, uh, for anyone who does not know yet, is a video game that Brian and I are developing. It is a branching narrative game that is set inside an impossible house where your choices it's and your decisions true. will shape your story. So this is the first game that Brian and I are developing. That's right. Um, and then a game that we worked on earlier this year called Evolutus Duality um, is, I think they're having, a, they're at PAX right now, right? They are, uh, team, they're at PAX, and not only they're, they're at PAX, they're at PAX with a demo, and it's a demo that we've been able to play. So, uh... I don't know when I'm going to confirm with the um, I'm going to confirm with the developers and the publishers, but we have a demo on this computer right now of a scene or a couple of scenes mm -hmm. uh, from Evolutus Duality, and we would love to share it with you. So we want to double check that we are allowed to, but we have both played it and we shared it last night with Logan, uh -huh. uh, who did all the audio recording yes. for us, and it's really cool. Um, it's yeah, really, really, really cool. Yeah, you can if you're interested, it will be on Steam. You can yeah. check it out. Exclamation point Evolutus will get you to the Steam page. It is a uh cyberpunk 
uh, fighting game with a branching narrative. So that's a really cool. Would you like to see the trailer while we're on the subject? I it's mean, a, let's 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 sprinkle it, a little trailer. It's a minute. It's a minute and a half long. I think we can afford the time on this extended stream. Thank you, everybody who's supporting our stream. Uh, looks like we're going to be doing a five-hour stream here today. So uh, <laughs> let's take a brief interlude for the Evolutus Duality trailer. Yes, you're hearing Amelia's voice. And if you're playing Starfield, you'll recognize uh, Sissy Jones, who's yeah. in uh, Starfield, also makes an appearance in this trailer, as well as Roger Clark and a bunch of other awesome actors like Dave Finoy, who you may know from the Walking Dead Telltale game. Uh, anyway, here you go. Without further ado, this is Evolutus Duality. Nobody is beyond redemption, Chelsea. Nobody. No matter who they are or what they've done, the right path is always there, if we choose to walk it. I sacrificed my health, my body, my life, everything. What do you want? My employers have a job for you. You ever heard of the Underground Fight Championship? <sighs> oh, the game is still being played, Chelsea. You just never realized it because you're only a pawn. Oh, you want me to keep a secret? That's gonna cost you. I'm not a pawn anymore. Now I'm one of the players. I don't know who you people are, but I am coming for you. We can be free. Still afraid of the dark, sis. <laughs> That's us, team. Yup. That's what happened. Yeah. Uh, we actually recorded almost the entire game in this very studio space. Uh -huh. We built a, a vocal booth. Uh -huh. Yes, you heard Lee Everett's voice. That was, in fact, uh, Dave Finoy, who yep. plays Apollo, um, who's Chelsea's uh, father yeah. in this game. Uh, uh, Frosty Ozzy, thank you so hey, much for being here with Frosty, the five gifts. Frosty, thank you so thank much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank Big hug you. and much love, my team. <laughs> Shall we jump back into some uh, of this? Yeah, and Alaria, yes, it is a uh, it's a fighting game with a branching story. So yes, um, you will your choices will have lasting impacts on the characters and um, and the story and lots of fighting. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. and if you want to check out the trailer, uh, it's on our, whoa! whoa! Magnolia, Magnolia Sims! Magnolia Sims, thank you so Magnolia. much! Magnolia, 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 Magnolia. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big hug and Come much here. love. If you got one and of those llama. gift and llama, if you got one of those gifted subs, please be sure to show some love. Yes, thank uh, you so thank much. Thank you, friends. Grab a diamond, everyone. Diamonds for all the people of the town. Uh -huh. Hellabara, welcome back for 25 months. And Akalia, welcome back. And thank you for using your prime. Um, you were saying that if you would like to check out the trailer, it's on our YouTube page. It's on our YouTube page, uh, Deckard Games on YouTube. Uh, it's also on the Evolutus page on Steam. So if you missed the trailer or you caught just the tail end of it, uh, check it out on Steam. You can add it to your wish list as well. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're going to be in Seattle, yeah, uh, it'll at be PAX. at PAX West. Uh -huh. So you can play um, the demo there. Yeah, and we'll keep you posted with a release date as soon as there is an official one. Mm -hmm. Wrong screen, right screen. Here we go. Uh, let's say thanks for our mods real quick. Thanks, mods. Thank you, mods. Appreciate you, mods. Appreciate thank you, you, lieutenants. Thank you so much. Good vibes all around. And back to the town. All right. So Starfield, we're in pursuit of... The, uh, the captain. The captain. Of these crimson pirates. Yes. All right, Vasco, let's roll out. Vasco is our friend. 
On Crete. On Qu Keef. Not Keef. All right, so we have an outpost 700 meters away and 500 meters away. Let's go to the closer one, right? What about that one? Even further. I'm going to this middle outpost. Also, this large creature is very possibly out here. Oh, let's scan that. Creek Razor. Hi. Nice to see you. Hi. Good to meet you. Do you want to kill us? We don't want to kill you, but no. we, we will. That one is our friend. No. No. That was, I thought I was scanning him. You need to get your scanner out then, my love. Oh, good God. That's embarrassing. Yeah. That's not my scanner either. This is a pistol. Get your other thing. Well, this is the scanner. I'm still a little unclear on the scanning. You press A to scan. Guess I'm not close enough to scan him. There you go. Now you scan. Yeah. Hey! Ah! Our health is low. This guy just rammed us. You got a little too close. Your health is low. Use a med pack by pressing down D and A. You can also select med packs by opening your inventory. We're gonna have to kill him. We're gonna have to kill this thing. Down. Oh, get out of here. Down. Med pack. Hey, cut it out! Cut it out! We were just scanning you! You're good now. Did you use the med pack? I don't think you did. I did. Why is it still telling you to do that? Now I can scan him? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So we can only scan when it's dead? I don't hey! think we can only scan when it's dead, but why does it say 38% scanned and now here I'm scanning? Oh, no, it's 61% scanned. Oh, you need to scan multiple of them. Hey, Immy Hobbit, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. I will melt your face if you come at me, dude. Just don't get too close. Yeah, it's time for another juice box of wine. I don't think we have more than one. Does anybody else want some juice boxes? I don't think the resources are, yeah. Let's have some distilled water. Everyone hydrate. Drink your water sacks, everyone. Look, I got some milk. Make sure you keep that refrigerated. I think I, our health is all maxed out now. We're fine. What am I doing? Just... Hydrating. A snack. Is this game fun? Yeah, this game's fun so far. We're, we're digging it. Hey, Synergetic Games. Thank you so much for the raid. Come on in. We're checking out Starfield Early Access. We're on the moon of Crete, and we're looking for the captain of the pirates known as the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, we're just scanning some dudes around. What were y'all up to on Synergetic's channel? What were you doing? What are you getting into? You're eating spicy chips. That sounds good. Than Ross. Than ours. Thanos. All right. I want to. I want to equip weapons to be able to more quickly grab them. I keep getting lost in these awesome menus. Deal with the Crimson Fleet captain. That's our plan. They're not called Crimson Pirates. Crimson Fleet. But they're pirates. They are very pirating. All right, that. Click on our weapons. All right. Compare to equipped. Like, is there a faster way to, like, short equip that? Ooh. Playing Final Fantasy. If you go into your uh, bumper, into your this part um can you then equip something if you like no slot. favoriting all right let's favorite some stuff so how do i uh favorite it with y ah quick slot all right well my pistol's gonna be there mm -hmm. My Grendel, I always put there. My Kraken, my little Uzi goes there. And my Maelstrom. Maelstrom. 
and your axe. Maybe my panic axe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Thank you, team. That's Thank very you. helpful. Oh, and we want to put our scanner, that, or our, our little, um... What's the thing that, like, I don't think it's a weapon. It's a cutter. This cutter I want to have on, on, on quick, too. Like, how am I gonna not just do this on the entire planet surface? Maybe that's how we spend the last hour of today's stream, is just ext extreme mining. Have a great time zone, Maxito. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you, Maxito. Thanks for playing with us yesterday, too. That was a lot of fun. Maxito's a killer Sombra. Uh -huh. I hope I never come up against you and only have you on my team. Ah! Ah! A crate stalker! No. Stay away from our friend. It's our little bot. This thing That's is. our bot. Let me use my axe. Fucking stop it! Oh, we have to help our our dude. While I am programmed for combat, it is not my primary function. I'm so sorry to put you in this situation. Just gonna scan a couple of these, and a couple of those. like the bud on it. What is up there on the ridge? How are you scanning like that? What are you pressing? So it's a toggle. Left bumper turns it on. Well, that's a grazer. That's, those are the dudes we... Okay, that's a friend. There we go. 100% scanned. Hey! We have a fauna. Creek grazer. And then... Going. So you can't be in the scan mode. I gotta go down, down. Next to Just a little bit of lead. Uh, so FTL has a pro tip saying that the quest marker is on the outer edge of the map in the lower left. So oh damn, so the opposite direction? It's over there. Thanks for the pro tip. I'll take any pro tips if you can. It's also amazing that you have such So is that tips. the big, is that the big building we're in to begin? No, that's another one. Where we started. Oh Brian, you're kinda out of your box. Oh no. Thank you. Thanks, sweet sugar. Sugar bun. Gotta slow your roll. Well, it makes sense that we have to like find various of the same thing to scan and compare them. Mm -hmm. Don't run too fast, my love. You're gonna, gonna I die. You. Getting dark out here. Uh, 
Um, no, we don't usually use a mouse and keyboard. Unless there's no option for controller. Yeah. I just like the way it feels. Plus, that's how I learned how to game, so I think, depending... What do you all think? Do the way that you like to game a controller versus mouse and keyboard, is that based on how you learned to, to game, or is it an acquired taste? I think this little buggy out for a ride. Anybody wants paper towel? Oh. Oh. I mean, there might be a vehicle for open areas later. I think we're just, you know, this is the first planet first where little, little bits of info as we go. This is where we were. Maybe not. No, I don't think so. Yeah, this is where we were. Okay, so for those of you who have played before, to confirm, I need to deal with the captain in this building, right? I don't want to make y'all watch me run around back and forth. Must open the safe, correct. Okay. <laughs> Out. Got it. Oh, and Orion says if we mark our quest as active, then we'll get waypoints. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Is that active? No. Go on map. We have to click the sub goal. Got it. Now it's blue. See that? Uh, there we go. Okay, thank very, you. Very, very uh, slight change. Oh, now it will show us. Yeah, so merciful God, thank you. <gasps> All I wanted was a waypoint. We're going to be running around in circles the rest of our lives. I think I accidentally toggled that off. I think this would have been on already, but. Something over here. Nope, still up one more floor. Oh, if life had waypoints, it'd be easy, huh? Merciful, merciful, did you pick? Oh, and a ladder. Oh. With roof access. Okay. One more try. All right, so this will get both of those. And we need another set. Yeah, we need two and two for this one. And then this one will be okay, and then I can use that one on those two. Now for this, we're gonna go for these two. Double check both, yeah. This one. Yeah. Sweet. We're into it! Ooh. Yay, yay! Ooh, some credits! Hey, Black Thunder! Welcome back for 34 months! Welcome back! Did it. Okay, uh, what's going on with this rattler? That's pretty cool. That's got real high damage. I'm gonna try this thing out. You wanna uh, favorite it? So in this menu, I can't. 
Wait, where did you just go? Uh, I don't know, you just pressed. Did I just drop that? Did I drop my suppressed rattler at a time like this? I think I tried to favor it. It's you not. Put, you it, put it in the safe. I put it back in the safe. I did. By the end of the stream, we're going to know what to do. Okay. Favorite this. Maybe let's do a save. A save! Yes, save the fish. So I have been a, I haven't been recommended that we should manually save pretty often. You haven't been? I haven't been, but we should be. Mr. Debo, who knows, told me. Wait. Nutrients? Med packs? You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Um... That's right, I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to back off. Attack, enough talk. I have places to be. What's your problem with Barrett anyway? Or I'm with Constellation, you need to stop attacking our ship. Maybe I'm with Constellation, you need to stop attacking our... Or we can lie. You wanna lie? You do whatever you wanna do, I don't bye. think it's gonna be enemies to lovers here, it seems. <laughs> What's your problem with Barrett anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. All right, look, I, uh, I, I killed Barrett. Oh, no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every no! Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't <laughs> care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Ooh, all right, you want to persuade him? There's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt or attack. Uh, no hard feelings? <laughs> Maybe let's try and persuade him. Let's persuade him. You're not talking us out of this score. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails, and the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Oh. Ooh, what's our persuasion like? I mean, we were empaths, so maybe we have some bonus here. Time to silver tongue them. All right. Uh, you have it wrong. Constellation is an explorer's group. They aren't treasure hunters. If you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns out. Anyway, I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me? Mm. Yeah, if you want to trade ships, we'll trade ships. You're willing to give up the ship? Just like that? Yeah, man. You have it wrong. We're not tre we're not treasure hunters. They aren't. You sure? Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. Oh, it worked, Bry. You should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. We just bluffed our way out of that. Now see what I want. option. Do you want to kill him and loot the bodies or leave no, town? No, no, we leave town. All right, we're going to leave town. We're fast traveling to the ship. Bye. We fast travel? 
Uh, yeah. Uh, look for the map icon over the ship. Yeah. And return to ship. Eh? Hey! Captain. The diplomatic way. To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry. This will all become second nature before too long. All right, let's take off. Nice. I think it's cool that you have uh, um, dialogue options that are different, like colors and variances, and you have to try different and... risk levels, huh? Yeah. chart System? All right, grab jump to Jemison. See a little flag there. Darna. There's Jemison. A little further out. Um, it says select missions in the bottom section. Press X to automatically plot a course to your next objective. Oh, way over here. Okay. In Alpha Zentari. What else, what are some of the other places you can see? Soul. Sirius. Sirius the, the pup. pup. AS. Grab jump. Pending. I don't have any power on my Centauri. Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. All right. Let's get in there. Boost. Engines back up. So this just puts away the. Oh, the, there we go. Can change views as well. Fast travel directly from the missions menu. A quicker way to get to the missions menu. Double tap that? No. It's not that. Here, where's my missions menu? I can go into this screen and then get it. Land at New Atlanta, Atlantis. Set course. Main hub. Set missions landing. This, I think. Set landing target. Poyo20, welcome and thanks for using your prime. Running so to fly to the other side? I don't really understand. I don't really understand either. Fast 
fast travel directly from missions menu. All right. Here's the missions menu. Land on New Atlas. I want to show on map. Set landing target. I did that. Oh, here we go. And I hold X. Uh -huh. Hey, Jen, three, one, three, six, oh, six, one, oh, three, four, one. Thank you for being here for eight months. Welcome back. We're just a level two player. Exiting the ship. New Atlantis. All right. Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again. And here's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offer us the cargo. Cool. Uh, my th my ship needs some repairs. Should does we pay it? I mean, does it? Do, do we need to gussy up our ship? I'd like to view and modify my ship. Okay, no problem. Whoa. All right, well, ship overview. Full on fuel, cargo capacity is not met. I don't think we're in a bunch of, doesn't look like we have a ton of damage. Do we? Huh. Oh. Ship Builder. Ship Builder allows you to fully design, modify, and paint your ship. The floor gauge to the right tells you where new modules will appear. When the floor gauge is at zero, for example, new modules will be placed at the center mass of the ship. Building new ship modules costs credits, and deleting them will give you credits back. The ship builder will keep a running total and process the entire transaction at the end. There's a flight check that will give you warnings or errors if you design an inval if your design is invalid for any reason. Okay. Y'all want to customize our ship just a bit? Sure. Looks like a creature. It does. Well, we can change colors. That's something I can handle. Oh my god. We're gonna play this game for a billion years. What do you want the face of our ship to be? I mean, that's kind of a color you like. Yeah, yeah. Pretty How cool. I like this. Yeah, you can customize the ship. That's pretty wild. I'm so into this. Oh no, team. Oh no, team. Will you all join me for 100 hours every day for a stream of 100 hours? There's no, uh, there's not 100 hours in a day, Bry. Not yet. <laughs> and, oh man, this is so cool, man. Hey, Aqua Girl, thanks for the gifted sub to Je suis en personne sans nom. Could do it in the deck art games logo uh, logo palette. That's a pretty good idea. That's a good Dan. idea. I like that. Um, let's see. I mean, I don't want to spend too much time on this right now because I can totally just Sim City this for as long as we can. Very cool though. So where does it say our total cost? Oh, we can just. I guess cosmetic stuff is fine. So I'm gonna do a flight check, make sure we're good with these colors. All systems nominal. Confirm modification, accept. Nice. Um, did you say I could sell the things? The train authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side near the ramp. 
Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. Copy you. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Thanks, man. So is this where we can sell stuff? Yeah. Alright, let's sell our junk. We've been carrying too much stuff. Miscellaneous. Digipix we like. Sample bottle, sample trays. Succulent. I'm selling the succulent. But never my Digipix. <laughs> Keep the milk. Alright, resources are for crafting. Hey, Pink Poppy, welcome back for 27 months. Good to see you. I'm selling these casual clothes. We're not casual types. All right, good enough for now. Unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that the individual is busy. Oh, sorry. How's it going? Je peux vous aider? Oh, they're speaking French. They are. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey. Sorry, can't talk. Wouldn't want to live. Sorry, can't talk. Alright, these guys are all very busy people, I can see. Wow. <clears throat> uh, Cara Katz, my mom is French. So, I uh, learned some from her. This is New Atlantis Transit. All right, please se select a destination. We're going to Mast District. The net it provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly. Is it low gravity here? I don't know. I definitely uh, don't know that I need to be in my spacesuit right now. No, I think we could switch to I something feel, casual. Do we feel a little overdressed? Slightly. I mean, I everybody mean, considering else. Considering this lady's just wearing a nice hat and a dress, <laughs> this lady's just shopping. Maybe we could just take off our helmet or something. Let's let's get ourselves right. Um, we don't need a deep mining space. Suit. Oh, that's a pretty cool one. Yeah, nice colors. Which one? The one with? Let's just wear our jumpsuit. Yeah. Equip All right. It. Oh. Uh, we equipped it. I don't think we equipped it either. Maybe I did equip it, but it's just under my other thing. So I need to get rid of my space suit. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Just your everyday adventurer. Hey, black friend, one, two, eight. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Oh, I like Atlantis. What are you looking at, dude? The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Run drive? Take us to the waypoint. Wow, look at this tree. I want to hang out in those shrubs. Don't really need to go in the shrubs, my sweet. I want to. You want to? We're shrub dwelling. Hmm. Client medical. I'm not feeling that bad. Thank you for joining us, friend. 
appreciate your vibes. Everything good? We're here to help. You ever hear that one about the... Uh, we may be in a us. United it's Colonies nice city, but Constellation yeah. is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. The Lodge. Here we are. The Lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us in... Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. How do you put away the, uh, gun? Not holding it. Bounce it again, then? Uh, yeah. So L1, we'll get rid of that bumper. Because it, that's a scan. Okay, and press X, which is your square button. There, you're, the weapons, you're fine. Not drawn on. If you want to use the D-pad, you can select to have, like, a different thing. Let's hold that axe for our conversation. We appear to uh, have a visitor. Hi. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Uh, pirates attacked. Why don't we start with you telling me? No, I'll tell you what you asked. Pirates attacked. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. They're here, with the artifact. Thank you, Mateo. Now. Let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? All of the above. Bright light music. I'm talking about this, it almost killed me. How many times has this happened? Well, I'm gonna tell you, bright lights and music. It was great. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? You won't believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. Listen to the meeting. But honest to God, Joe, if you expect us to believe in fairy. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do uh, that. None of them. This oh, let's go back. Easy girl. Breathe. You'll have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godric? You're on, Walter. Well. If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to you have to rebuild this entire sphere? What are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Little? Alright. I'm in, tell me what happens next. This is all a little much, I need to clear my head. H how do you know about the artifacts? What are they? You want me in inst you want me in constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? 
Tell me about the Individually, artifacts. they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Okay, tell me about Constellation and what it means to be part of we're it. We're all what's here expected? because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Hmm. Hey, I, Roberts, welcome back for three months, and Moogie Blue, thank Moogie you for the Blue. gift sub to Flash Viper. Appreciate thank that, you. friend. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. You mean Just like a jetpack? Mind your head. Level four? Skill points available. We can level up. All right. Skill points. Uh, let's go up here. We have three skill points that we need. Uh, tap it. So directional and A. You receive one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill also unlocks, unlocks a challenge. Complete the challenge and then spend a skill point to rank up the skill. The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent a minimum number of skill points in that category. All right. So we got, we were, were God given lasery with our, with our beginning life. Um, rank that up yeah after oh. complete the challenge so circle out oh. so let's look at these other oh social oh we can up our persuasion could be handy i think we're gonna need to do some Physical, persuasion stealth so yeah we fitness. started off with fitness so use up all of your oxygen 20 times is one of our challenge progresses for for that and then it'll let us upload more or upskill more i think persuasion makes sense i think we're gonna need that no matter what all right and unlock nicely done mm -hmm. all right right now we have surveying upper medicine yeah, med packs, uh, trauma packs, and emergency kits restore 10% additional health faster. And then we nice. have one more. One more point for now. Um, boost pack boost training? Boost pack training, because we just are going to get a booster pack, apparently. Yeah. Hey, Kuhaku! Welcome back for 29 months. Great to see you. And guinea bees, thank you for being here. Happy first day of spring to you. So, is it... Of spring? Yeah. Oh, yes! In Australia, that is. All right. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Get to work. I mean, I'm majorly into hearing about the jetpack, uh, apparently. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. This is my first mission. I'm excited. We're excited. I felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. 
I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. I'm into it. Right, Sarah, Sarah will be, be locked, locked as you uh, as your follower if you continue. All right, you got roll, it. Roll with us, Sarah. Let's do it. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Understood. Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? All right. Well, it's the top of the hour. I think we should take a hydration break before we tour New Atlantis. What do you say? Yeah, yeah. I trust you're still satisfied with your choice to join Constellation. There we go. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, friends. This is uh, very intriguing to me, and I'm sure that it's going to get more and more complex oh, as we hey! get deeper in. It's Lo the Music Man. Lo the Music Man. Send two young squizzles. Oh, yeah. Two young squizzles on a squiz. What's up, Lo the Music Man? Everybody, can you say, hey, Lo? Hey, Lo. Hey, Lo. Hey, lo hello, Lo. Thanks for being our friend. Thanks, Lo. Uh, <laughs> the team loves the, your new music. If yes. you want to check it out, uh, our buddy Lo, the music man, who made some of the music you hear on our channel while we're all hanging out. And it's so commie. Thank Aww, you for the, the gifts of so commie. Lo, the music man, back for 34 months. Lo makes Thank all the much. music that we uh, we play on our channel, and he also just released his first full album called A Cosmic Reverie. So yeah. if you want some really good jams that are going to take good you vibes. on like a really cool adventure of sound, then go check it out. Check it out right now, in mm -hmm. fact. We're going to take a little five-minute hydration break, and we're going to stream for another hour on the other side. A big thank you to everybody who helped us uh, earlier uh, blowing up our goal. Absolutely smashing that goal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll be right back. Let's mm -hmm. have some some more Starfield on the other side. Yes. We'll be right back. One more hour. Let's yes. go. Yes. All right. See you all in five. This is a tune by our buddy Lo. And if you want to hear his whole new album, check it out. Exclamation point L O in the chat. Your voices seem to blend into the game. <laughs> nice. Well, good to see you, Felipe. Thank Thanks you for, for being, being here. Thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, Amelia and I will voice the the unvoiced protagonist in this mm -hmm. game. Yeah. All right, uh, we'll be right back, friends. Get yourself a snack. See you in five. We totally didn't just shove in another piece of pizza. We did. No, it was you. You were the ones shoving in pizza <laughs> in the last second. Misawa. Misawa. Thank Misawa, you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for blowing our minds. Thank you. 20 gifted subs. If you got one of those 20 gifted subs from Misawa or two from Moogie Blue, merci beaucoup. Merci. Please, please be sure to thank them. And if you'd like, you can check out the starter kit. This will show you the way around the channel. What kind of pizza? It was an artichoke pizza. Yeah, veggie. Veggie, veggie and artichoke. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm. Very good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So, should, we, should we go back to space? Yeah, well, Is Lowe still here? Low? Yeah, yeah. Low. So Lo the Music Man is our dear buddy who who honestly probably is the most likely of anyone I know to actually be an astronaut. Because he yeah. knows he knows science. Also, Logan taught me how to do uh how to wash your hands in the most thorough way yesterday. Yeah. And uh it is quite thorough. You take your hands, you go like this until you get the soap bubbles. Yeah. And then you go like this, and then you go like this, and then you go like this. And then you go like this, and then you go like this, and then you do thumb wash, and then other thumb wash, and then you take your fingernails like that, and other ones like that, and then you go like this, and you go like this, then you wash, and you're done. Huh? Mm -hmm. What's happening? I was showing everybody how to do a... A thorough hand wash. Oh, how boring. So clean. Uh, shall we continue? <laughs> Let's play this game. Yo, Eliza! Eliza. <laughs> Eliza, thank you, thank you, thank you for waking me up again, Eliza. <laughs> thank you, Eliza. Thank, thank you, Eliza, you, friend. Thank you. Uh, please be sure to... Yo, oh, and Frosty Ozzy. Frosty Ozzy? Summon the what? ducks. Summon the ducks. What? Frosty Ozzy and Eliza friend together as one. Thank Bring you. the ducks to you, people. Thank wow. you. Wow. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Miyasawa knows Miyas that's a typical Miyasawa washing knows. of hands when Miyasawa, disinfecting. Are you, are you a scientist also? Or a doctor? Our, our, our buddy uh, Lo the Music Man is, is becoming quite quite the science man uh -huh. these days. Yeah. He's a music man, yes, but he's also a science man. Science man. Get these ducks out of here. Ducks, we have a game to play. We can't be hanging out with you all the time, ducks. We can't be hanging out with you all the time. It's time to play this game. Um, I'm, I'm, oh, pizza or lasagna? Pizza. Pizza. Pizza every time. Easier to eat, Flags but also egg. lasagna is quite lovely. Also a lot easier to spell. Pizza, pizza I can spell five times out of six. Lasagna? It'll take me 50 tries to spell lasagna correctly. Let's put our earbuds in. Yes, ma We're going on an adventure. I honestly can't imagine being anywhere else. Just making sure, right young girl like you, there are no shortage of opportunities. Ripa. All right, look at how enthusiastic we run. So it's one of our training goals to run out of oxygen, but I guess we can't really do that here. Oh, hey, Sarah. On this planet. Oh, hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah, she'll follow you. She's our, she literally is called our follower, not even our companion. She's gonna roll with us. Yeah. Yeah, hey, our player keep still- Keep up, keep up. Our player still called player. Uh, which honestly, I don't, I don't hate. Yeah. In the beginning, I didn't like it as much, but now I like being called player. Hey, my name's Player. Hey, I'm Player, and I'm, I'm ready for adventure. What? Where'd you go? She's dematerialized. All right. Well, I'm going up this way. My baby gonna deviate already? Actually, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> uh, thanks, Sarah. Name our character protagonist. Maybe protagonist is their last name. Player protagonist. That's our first name is player, and our last name is protagonist. And I don't want to hear anything. Oh, I'm getting. I'm losing my CO2. Yeah, run out, run out. Oh no! no. All right, that's good. Off that. So that was one of our one of our fitness challenges was to almost run out of oxygen. Maybe take you can't jump there. That's ridiculous. We don't have our jetpack yet. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get to this waypoint. I think that our NPC was taking us there before. Sneak up on her now. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, go ahead. What are your areas of expertise? What do you do for fun? Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, what? the idea of following any organized religion Hold that was thought! After Hold that thought! Hold on! Hold on! What? Boogie Boogie Blue. Blue. 67 gifted subs? What? what is going on? September's gone what? nuts! Y'all are losing your minds! What is going on? I don't even know! I have a button for that. Moogie Blue. That is incredible. Thank Get you blue. so much for the 67 gifted subs. That's, I'm, in it. I'm, but, <laughs> I'm, sh my short, I'm short circuiting. She's short, she's short, I'm she's short, short circuiting. circuiting. Yo, everyone, it seems like everyone on this channel is gonna get a gifted sub. Moogie wow. Blue, 
Thank you, Eliza, Fran, Frosty, Ozzy, uh, and Mi Misawa, uh, recently all giving so many gifted subs. Wow. Fantastic. If you got one of those 67 Holy subs from Moogie Blue, please be sure to thank them and uh, check out our starter kit and welcome. Thanks for Do you think I can say thank us. you 67 times? Will you help me count? I would like to thank you 67 times. Okay. Thank you, 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 67 thank yous, Moogie Blue. Merci beaucoup. Wow, thank you Appreciate so much. Appreciate you. Fantastic love. Thanks, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> For real. That's incredible. So many thank yous. Oh my gosh. Damn, you really it's like it when we I get lost. I don't want to believe in anything. It's that <laughs> my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there in the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you. But don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. All right, I intend to respect yours. Very well. Next time, then. All right, all right. Let's Stay ramble on. Let's find our way into this structure, since Amelia had to go out of her way to rock, walk all the way around this giant Eiffel Tower looking thing. I know. How I, dare you? I thought that this was the way to go. It was simply not. We just are doing our, we're doing our fitness trains, run, run our oxygen all the way down to zero. Wait. Oh, what a relief. The original high. Where are you going now? Get to the waypoint. I was trying to, and then it. I can go there. Already stowed. They were uh. gonna give our son to a different family. Oh, oxygen. Go again. Run ourselves out of oxygen again. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Run until you can't see straight. Just keep running, Forrest. Run, player protagonist. Run. In there. Hold it up. Don't pass out. Ah. <sighs> Feeling much better now. You see, Mast. welcome to Mast. Lobby. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Oh yeah, we got appointments. We're gonna go over there and check in with the Vanguard station. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Uh, yeah. It, what is Vanguard? United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. And put in your time and your guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? Hmm. I mean, I'd love to join the Vanguard. And sign me up. No, thanks. I'd rather chart the stars than fight wars. I uh, mean, I kind of want to chart some stars, but I'm maybe, not. Maybe maybe later we have a constellation business to discuss first. All right. All right. Yeah. Can't blame me for trying. Right. I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to reenlist. It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. 
Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Hmm. Who's this Moara? Mo Moara. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. Okay, if he's on... Uh... Wait, what's wrong with the soul system? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Damn, that's our that's us, team. We're soul. Alright, um. We'll talk to him. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Alright, well. Thank you for your help, John. For Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Team, the year is 2330-something, which means we're only like 300 years away from this, and he described our solar system as having only Mars in there that people wanted off of. No mention of Earth. Not ideal. All right. <clears throat> so right now we have the old neighborhood as the main quest that we're following. We need to find Vanguard Mo Moara, who might be in possession of the artifact. He was last seen patrolling the soul system. Um, All right, let's set our course. Is that what you want to do? I mean, either that or back to the grind. Yeah, we can go check in with this guy. See what's up with him. What do we want to do, friends? Shall we shall we vanguard it up? Near Z, thank you for using your prime. And Dragano, thank you for being here for four months. You have a bad feeling about this? Hmm. Uh -huh. All right, let's, let's do it, yeah. Let's start right. the course. Back to the soul system. We can jump there with X. Uh, press and hold X. All right, we're going to the soul system. It's change of scene. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan in progress. No Scan contraband complete. on ship. Welcome to Mars. You are cleared to land at Sidonia. Boop, boop. Yep. So. Okay, so there's a Mars launch pad. Uh, or we can go to the Mars. Yeah, that's a place to land, right? Try hitting A on that. Open the planet map with X. And then we spin around to where we want to go. The fracking station, the fracking station, the Mars mech factory, uh, but Sidonia is our quest line spot. So we're going to go on there and then A, the set landing target, hold X to land. Sweet. <laughs> Player level four. I think it'll grow on us. You mean the controls? Being called player. Yeah. Oh, the I mean, the controls definitely. Just look at our ship. New paint job. I want to do a whole stream where we just customize our ship the whole time. All right, let's get off. Your suit is depleted. We need our suit on. Oh my God, we're just on Mars without our space suit. Horrible decision making, Bry. All right, we need to put on our right outfit. Uh, let's go spacesuits. Um, and then we have a pirate assault spacesuit or our deep mining spacesuit, which has. Uh, go up again. That one looks a little better. Yep. Whew! Much better. Suit integrity is weak. Environmental damage is your maximum health. So 
basically it sucks to be us right now. No, it just means our our, our suit could use some repairs, I guess. Leeches in the engine. Leeches on the hull. Multiple leeches in the grab drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So what's this going to run? There are no other surprises. I like that it didn't just auto equip that and that we had to do it. A brownout is when the electricity is not a blackout. A blackout would be you lost the power completely, but a brownout is like, like a dims down, not completely blacked out, but low, low, low power supply. Always nice to kick back in the broken sphere after a long day. Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? We were told there were jobs. Look, 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 we get it. People always ask me what I think about mining. <laughs> it rocks. God, I'm so tired. Howdy. Uh, am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock out in the middle of nowhere? You get a lot of new faces passing through here. I'm looking for a vanguard named Moara. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol, hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. Blackest Sea? You got another word for it? He means outer space. Ma'am. Uh, we could track him down if you know his patrol route. Uh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let <laughs> him slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money... I've got problems. What do you say? Okay. Um, we can pay to cover his tab or persuade him. We can could... ask Sarah. Um, I'll try to persuade him. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Uh, he doesn't like to be guilt tripped. All right. Um, nobody will ever know you told me, I promise. I want you to imagine him out there alone, and you're here, holding out for cash. Every minute that passes, he could be in danger. All right, so we get three attempts. You're right. All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. Nice! Well, nice! Here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love. She's singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus. That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. Forgot what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Hey, Manny Link 80, welcome back for 60 months. That's five years. Thank you for being here. All right. Um, what is this special little symbol? We have to go back to our ship, probably, right? Mm hmm. But we'll track him we... down. Loot anything while we're here? If you're going to use the elevators or stairs to reach the other level. Alright, so Black 3 Chan wants to know is this game worth the wait? I I'm super into it. I'm very intrigued. Um, I think it's probably gonna be another couple of streams before I have like a real full answer to that. Yeah. Um but it's definitely I think if you like open world games. And if you like space exploration, um, and if you liked Mass Effect and you want more, yeah, then I think that this is definitely going to be right up your alley. Um, indeed, indeed. And uh, Arizona Eagle, I can say to you, hello. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife to go to Mars and uh, find out what's going on with this more again. Yeah, let's see what's up with him. Hmm. 
All right, note to self, next time we come to Mars, wear our spacesuit. Happy birthday, Gravity Poison. Welcome. Hey, happy birthday. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you're having a great birthday. Pep Borth. I wish you a magical year full of good company and great vibes. Feels like wrong to be leaving so fast, but... No, we just had to, we, we had to get the info. I mean... You didn't have to succeed at that persuasion. I did. No, I'm just saying. Might, it, might, it might take longer for, for other, less persuasive players out there. Getting off right hey. away, or do you need a little bit of time? I love that. Uh, Black3chan, I think that's a great idea. We, we named our character player because I hit enter too soon. Yeah. So you can call us player. You can call us Mr. and Mrs. Protagonist. Misawa, thank you for the gift sub to Gravity Poison. Thank you for that. That's very kind of you. Like, how cool is it going to be when our ship keeps changing every time? I'm going to customize the hell out of that ship. Amelia's gonna wake up in the night and she's gonna be like, where's Brian? <laughs> she's gonna use find my Android and she's gonna find out that I snuck off to the studio to play nine hours of midnight ship customization. All right. So if you jam the left stick, you will boost. I don't know how far we're really going to have to go, but let's see if we can fly there. So, if you want to add more um, energy to your engine, you use the left and right on the D-pad, so you can pull things out, like pull down your lasers or your missiles and your ballistics, I guess that is, or is that balance? Then you can re-attribute it to engine. every now and then but we've been streaming for a long time this is this stream has been uh expanding it looks like it's gonna be probably a five hour stream i don't know how far away we are from it there... yeah you can go to the menu if you want uh so up to the upper left try sticking the next uh mission option um the old neighborhood yeah, we hit. Go to Venus. Okay, circle out. So now we're gonna zoom out of here and we're gonna find Venus. We can find Venus in the solar system. We know how to do. Can you pull back on the joystick to get away further. All right, where's Venus, team? There it is. So X to set course. And X to travel. Okay. You got your mission successful sticker on the prize in, in the mail today. I'm glad for that, Sean M.K. Got about 30 more envelopes on my desk waiting to go out. Uh, probably on Monday. The room's in it. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. I doubt they know where Vanguard is. Why are the zealots out near Venus? No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. You see more ship anywhere? No, no other ship readings in the area. 
And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. So we need to get to that beacon without being attacked. Or I'm opening fire. Those zealots are a threat to the whole system. Exactly. We can do it without explosions. Power, go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. All right. Minimize ship system power to avoid detection. Systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. For maximum stealth, power down all systems except one or two bars in your engine and stay as far away from your enemy ships as you can. Get within 500 meters of the satellite beacon so you can activate it. All right, so we're gonna pull down all of our other things. Pull our shields down to zero. Down D, then the engine you're selecting, and then you're going up and down. Down all the way. Oh, great serpent. Bless this communion that we may walk in Janar's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched yes, your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promised and cast the accursed into shadow. All right, we might have powered things down a little early, but here we go. We're just. Flying casual. Am I doing this right? You're doing great, Amelia. You're flying towards the waypoint. Right. We're trying to not be detected by these guys. We have all of our stuff real low. I mean, I think we can make our engines go a little slower if it'll let us, no? It didn't really, no, it's There you go. Oh. I'm just trying to get it to go down. It wasn't doing right, so anything. So we need our engine up one. There you go. Just to one. And as we get closer, maybe we pull it down to just one bar. We're hoping that its systems think we're just like floating in space. I'm sure there's a big learning curve, and I also think that the different uh, categories of things that you spend your time doing, like, if you want to be in the ship all the time, I bet you get really good at all the intricacies of flying and fighting and stuff. Hey, the Platinum Duo! Thank you so much for the raid! Right, pull your engine down just a little more. Off. Thank you, Platinum Duo! All right, make sure the satellite is selected. Press A to cycle between targets. There you go. Earth is just out of the picture. Did we blow up Earth? So you gotta pull your engines back up now. One up on the... Satellite beacon over here, we gotta go check it out. I don't know. I guess this is where I just were, but I guess, is there more to listen? Earth is dead? I 
don't think there's more we can listen to here right now, team. We're gonna go on to that next point. We just don't want to be too active for those other ships to notice us, in which case we're gonna have to fight them off. You have been misled. Thank you for being here for 10 months. It didn't look like Earth was destroyed. But I didn't... We should check our big map. I mean, maybe this is all bits and pieces of Earth floating. So if you want to increase your engine speed, you can. Far way away. Yeah, it's, I'm a little because of this. It seems to be we're getting further away from the beacon, but I don't think we want to go back to the beacon because we were just there, right? We want to go to the next waypoint. Yeah. Jam the left stick. how far away that is. Let's check our whole map. Mission options. Go to the Nova Galactic Star Yard. It's pretty far away. Does anyone know if you need to carry the skill books all the time or not? I don't know. You must be further into the game than we are. Still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. All right, we'll see if Vanguard's on there. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Most star stations and ships can be docked with, allowing you to board them. You will need to select the ship in your HUD and then fly as close to it so that the dock prompt appears. All right, so we're gonna fly up to this thing and dock. That's Earth's moon. We know that moon. Pull back on the speed a little bit. <laughs> this must be your first day flying a spaceship, player. The ship's hull's integrity is low. If it drops to zero, your ship will explode. We need to pull our shields up or we're going to die. Up shields. We don't need that. We need engines and we need shields. So uh, this, really look, confusing. yes, so would, so would flying a spaceship be. So much crashing. Uh, we died. We exploded. Here, a bit. I feel like you should. Okay, can, let me let me show you. Galactic star yard, still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where twenty percent of the ship landed. <laughs> People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. All right, here's the deal. The the thing you're doing is you're you're giving power to and from the engine. Your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. You see in the lower left. So the difference is that we're going to go dock. I can pull back on the speed by pulling back the left stick. So now my speed is low. I can go forward on the stick and now my speed is high. 
or I can cut power from the engines entirely by going down on the D-pad. Uh... But you can't, but it looks like there's a, a, a rate at which you can do it. You can't just pull all the power out of the engines immediately because it's a, it's a whole ass ship. So if we have less total power in our engine thing, then our fastest speed is lower. Does that make sense? So you're doing this to drive forward. But if you want to go slower, you got to pull back on it. Oh, I didn't get that at it's all. It's not a car, it's a spaceship. So if we want the engines up a little bit. Yeah. Shields up. Should we put our shields up just in case we crash? Yeah. Like y'all saw Apollo 13. You know, no? no? You've never seen Apollo 13? No. It's a slight crash. It's a little, a little scotch. Dock us. <laughs> there we go. Let's board. Just give the word and we'll get underway. Two steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Oh. Yeah, but it's got a digipic. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. You want to take over now that we're on the ground again? Or? Yeah, sure. Fleet. Just That's countless just desperate used. groups scavenging and killing to survive. Infinity! Reminder, infinity. Yeah, be, be aware, we may have some hostiles. We also have our axe loaded. Maybe we want to take a different weapon out. I'm going to take my Grendel, my Rattler. Don't rattle with me. Yo, Kath Moan, it is. Uh, we're playing right now on our AMD uh, Red Team PC. Playing with the Xbox controller on a PC. All right, we don't want to waste our ammo. We only got 20 shots in this thing. Oh, it has shots? Okay, I see. We're encumbered now. How do you We're carrying too much shit? No. I just said running when encumbered takes up uh, extra oxygen. You hear that? Thank you. Oh, I see red dudes. Look alive, little one. Go through there. Are you ready for murders, babe? Should we get rid of some of our stuff so we're not running around encumbered? Here. Uh, let's see. We need that. We gotta have that. We gotta have all that. We need all those things. Never mind. We'll just be a little slower. We only got to drop three pr three pounds of mass. I don't know what to. Maybe this. We can just maybe we can just eat some things here. Let's enjoy a nice. Oh, we need. Oh, none of these things are that heavy. Um. Need that. Do we need a backup helmet? Probably a helmet's a thing we should have a backup for. We took some, we have like a bunch of the same guns. Do we think we can offload to Sarah? Ah, uh, okay. Oops, you uh oh, Sarah, oh, we're in combat. Deal okay. with that later. L2 to aim, R2 to shoot. Ah. Circle to crouch. Oh, 
bunch of them in there. You're out of ammo. Switch weapons. Deep pad. You need to heal. Down, down on D in the next. I don't even need a gun. Shit! How do you, how do you tell your health? This the bar right there. Oh, that's That's our cutter, we can't use that. Ooh, got some explosions happening, not not great. your weapon of choice. Loot some bodies. Nicely done. Don't mess with Amelia, indeed. There's ammo in all those cases. Yeah, get 
give him some axe. Just grab the pistol and shoot this man in the head. There we go. Oh, that's a lot. They're very hard to see. They blend in very well to the environments. Be careful not to run out of oxygen. point of view. I'm just having a tricky time finding where they are in space. They're very camouflaged. Let's use the mini map too. We gotta pass some shit off. We're too over encumbered. We're just like Can't even. we're losing oxygen just by being alive. Friend, companion. I don't want to carry all this shit here. Can someone carry this? Uh, hide it in the settlements. All right, there you are. Okay, look. I need you to hold some stuff. Sign. Feel free to drop some stuff into my bag. Happily. I'm gonna give you... Uh, what? Okay. My, I got a my inventory now? With the left bumper. I'm gonna give you a whole ass spacesuit because it's too heavy. And I want to give this to you. How do I do that? Trade, A. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, and take this as well. Now we still have too much shit. Um, throwables, I want to equip these. Grenades, Amelia, are going to be... No, I think you should it's just... I am now playing. 
I'm not going to move the camera around every time, though, right now. That's what I meant. Can you hang on to this uh, helmet for me as well? Oh, man, so much over encumberment. OK, I'm going to. Drink my orange juice and my how, water pack. How, how can you tell how much stuff you have and how much you need to get rid of? See the mass down there at the bottom? That's uh, the total amount of shit we're carrying. Okay, so we need to get it. We so need to get rid of one. seven pounds of okay. stuff. Hey, After Heart Gaming, how you doing? Hello. All right, there we are. Now we're finally not over encumbered. Get me out of this glitchy ass screen. Okay. Late. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Hmm. Hmm. All right, now we're looking for clues. The old Neptune, now we gotta go to Neptune. One of their ships than fighting them all at once here. Damn, we're going to Neptune like this quick? Alright, well, we should probably loot more bodies then. I, did we kill all the dudes? I don't know. Um, we could go. No way we killed all the dudes. Go down here and see. Ah! Oh, so I think they heal back up. There's gonna be medicine on the various Looks walls like of these places. Bye. Bye. All right, let's go. I'm out of here. If I can. What's that? Weapon oh. workbench. Ooh. I like a weapon workbench. Okay, so we can up some of our stuff. Reflex site. Oh, so we, we, we collect craft these and, different yeah, things. We can... Cool. All right, well, we don't have much to upgrade with this stage, but we'll be back. stairs almost five hours of streaming that's what happens when i leave it to this community and say you guys decide no this is like an observation Crates stacked of stuff. I wish I had a little mini map of the facility. Yeah. There's another crate. We can fast travel to our ship. Stuff in it. Too much CO2.
show when you're ready to launch. We're gonna need a bigger briefcase. <laughs> Ready to launch. No. This is literally where we came from. Yeah. Yeah, no, our playable character doesn't speak. We, we're, we're speaking for them. Yeah, they're silent. Work. <sighs> Undock. Off to Neptune we go. Belazar, welcome and thank you for using your prime. Hello, Belazar. How you doing? Or Belazar? Blazer. What are y'all thinking of this game so far? What are your initial impressions of Starfield? I think we're pretty early into the game. We, we just started playing uh, earlier today. Yeah, so. there's no Earth, team. Oh, shit. Oh, no, there's Earth. Okay. Good. Okay, good. You're loving it. You're cool. You love <laughs> I was it. Worried. Space Earth had been awesome. destroyed. Uh, you're loving it. It looks nice. You'd have to play it yourself to see how it feels. Feeling like a researcher. The game is beautiful. You weren't a fan at first, but now you're starting to like it. Ooh, Seems wait. like a lot, but interesting. Here we are at Neptune. There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. All right, let's find this vanguard right quick. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Wait, the weapons are powering oh. up. Oh, get your, get your lasers, lasers, lasers! Get your shield. If you stop shooting at us, we'd be more than happy to respond. It's not me. Marks hijacked my ship. White lined a couple of them, but they locked me down. Get on board. Once they stall out, we'll have our chance. All right, when they stall out, we'll get on board. But right now, we need to burn them out. Hey, sir, take it back. Uh, Cool. As you can see, I've not flown many spaceships.
the deal. I'm gonna get you. So close. So close. No! Press RS to repair right right stick to repair our ship. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you'll be allowed to dock. Once you board, expect the crew of the ship to fight back. Next to dock. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. I just need to pull up. Oh my gosh, that was really too close. That was stressful. Really too close. All right, I'm boarding. I, I think we might need to save it there. Should we save for the day? We've been gone. We've been gone. We're going on five hours now, team. Um, uh, I think I'm going to pause and save. All right. I think I'm going to pause and save because mm. there we go. Because I'm into it, but I know that we got a big weekend of streams. That was yes. That was a lot of hype, team. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for the awesome support. Mm. Hi, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would be, I would totally be down to go, but we got a big weekend. Amelia, what are we doing this weekend? Tomorrow we're playing Control, a uh, Remedy Games um, past game that just came that came out a couple years ago, and then on Sunday we are gonna finish Uncharted: Drake's Fortune. Tuesday is our Good Mammal stream, and we're going to be talking about cr procrastination and the creative process. Word. And if you have a game you would love us to play, put it here, exclamation point games. And if you are really mm. digging Starfield, please add it to this forum. Recommend exclamation point games Starfield. Yeah. And uh, I will be very happy to continue this with you all. Yeah. Uh, we are going to be doing a very special stream on September 6th which is uh, Wednesday. Yeah, next, next Wednesday. Week. We're going to do a bonus stream from 10 o'clock uh, to noon, checking it out. And we have a very cool prize. If you are a PC gamer and if you are into Starfield, you are going to be so into this prize. Uh, we've given away stuff on this channel before that has had uh, a lot of hype, but this uh starfield stream will be probably the most valuable thing we've ever given away as a prize on a stream i would say it is worth over a thousand dollars yes is the way i would put it it is uh, uh, i can't tell you it's even more expensive than a ps5 <laughs> um yeah it's really cool super limited edition and very 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 cool uh so we'll keep you posted about it um, and if you want to follow along on social media, you can. I'll be posting, I'll be tweeting about it as soon as I get the uh, official uh, verbiage that I'm allowed to share. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really grateful that we checked this out today. Thank you, yeah. team, for a, for a five hour stream. Let's I know, that was unexpected. Moderators, lieutenants. Thank you, thank you so much, Mod. Thank you, for a, thank you for a very full day, and we'll be back. Take a look at your clock, subtract four hours, and we will be live at that time playing Control tomorrow and completing Uncharted. Drake's fortune yes. on Sunday. Yes. All right. Let's um, see what's going on with the mods. See if we got <sighs> some raid targets. Oh, nice. All right. Co Carnage is streaming some more Starfield. <laughs> Let's go show some love to Co. Yeah. Who's probably. Uh, light years ahead of us. Light years ahead of us. So if you want to see how this game is really played, let's go show some love to Co Carnage. Thank you, friends. And hit me with some emotes as we go to raid. We're coming with you. And if you like what he's up to, please drop a follow on my man, Co Carnage. He's going to be playing 100% uh, of all of the Starfield. So if you're looking for that deep dive, he's the place to have it. My name is Brian. My name's Amelia. And this, this is, is our Twitch. Twitch. Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with us and spending your time. Miss oh, Okami. Miss Okami. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Miss Okami. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you got a gift sub for Miss Okami or any of these other very generous people, please be sure to thank him. You can check out the starter kit. It'll show you around. And now let's go show some love to Co Carnage himself. Let's do it. All righty. Thank you, friends. Thank you for the emotes. Uh, let's get going on this raid. And the raid is ready to come. And so are we ready to go? Yes. In three, three two, two, one, raid! raid!